Hello and welcome to Dash 28 Live. I'm your host, Mike Atkins, and today we are bringing you another third round match from Call to Arms 5. Uh, this time we have playing on table three. Awesome. Uh, we have uh, Coca Garcia and Justin Gisby Clark. Hey guys. Hi, man. Welcome and thanks for being here. Uh, joining me here in the studio to help cover the game, we've got uh, Matt Goody, Luis Serra, and Jesse Bilbia. Hi guys, thanks for being here. And uh, so the scenario as it's been for every game this round so far is Rays. And this is going to be a very meta relevant match as it's gonna be Undead versus Night Stalkers. Uh, Undead of course, uh, pegged by a lot of people as, as the top army in the game. Uh, but according to Tom Annis just this week, uh, Night Stalkers are pulling off the best win percentage so far in the tournament. Uh, so this is this is uh, going to be really interesting, and I'm really looking forward to seeing what happens here. So without further ado, let's take a look at the lists. So up first, we got uh, Koke's uh, Night Stalkers. Koke, could you walk us through your list, please? Okay. Uh, first, uh, two wards of Scarecrow. Uh, they are a, a mid wall for for the Nerf Twenty One. Uh, two troops of phantoms. Uh, I think they are good for this scenario because I need uh, mobile troops to to get objectives. Three orbs of butcher butchers, uh, the core of the army because they are butchers. Uh, it's the only war. Uh, good nerve and good attacks. Pressing two. It's, it's the core of the army. Three minus crit uh, for getting lightning ball 18. I think um, the, the rival uh, must to go, go at your line and he can't wait, he doesn't wait to you. Uh, two planar apparition, um, heal uh, 14. In total, I am dread. They are night uh, support. Uh, two butchers, the river. Uh, one with spirit talisman. Uh, it's uh, against shooting principle. And uh, the special uh, character is an river. Awesome. All right. 15, 15 drops coming in at a big old 24 unit strength. Very nice. Mm -hmm. Very nice. All right. Let's take a look at Justin's Undead. Justin, could you walk us through your list, please? Yeah, sure. So, uh, two hordes of zombies, kind of standard chaff. Um, then you got uh, actually first time for me using these guys, mummies. Um, been up against them quite a few times. Um, they're quite hard to shift and my thinking is uh, in a game like this, perfect, really. Um, hopefully, you won't shoot against them. And then uh, Soul Reavers, kind of the core of any undead army, really. Um, can just kill things instantly if uh, the dice are good. Um, and then Revenant Cav, uh, brilliant. They can serve as two purposes, really. If the dice go the way, then um, they're great hammers. They can be. And um, they're also good anvils. So. Uh, zombie trolls, um, I actually quite like them because of their high US. Um, catches people out really by surprise sometimes. Um, better than the Rev Cab US, so that's my thinking on that. Um, whites, they're excellent. Uh, no more to say about those really. And then the Vamp on Peg, um, just for that speed 10 kind of threat. And then the two Rev Kings. Um, thinking on those guys is that, you know, Necros are great and they serve a purpose, but. Um, very vulnerable to shooting. So looking at Coco's list, I'm hoping they'll survive a little bit, but we'll see. That's right. it. And I see you put the meat of magnet madness on your vampire peg yeah. for a 21 inch charge. Yeah. That's nice. It. Yeah. 
Nice. All right, and that's uh, so that's 13 drops. We're coming in at 29 unit strength. That's a lot. A little more than Koke with a few less drops. Uh, cool. All right. Uh, thanks for walking us through those guys. I'm going to close down and bring up your UB room so we can take a look at your battlefield. All right. Uh, so as I said, we're playing Raze, and it looks like you guys have put a tombstone in the middle of the table to mark the objective that you can't pick up, and you're using red dots uh, for the ones that you can burn. Is that right? That's it. Cool. So we're clear on what part of the table you guys are going to spend most of your time on here. <laughs> um, uh, but I do want to ask you about how you're doing some of the terrain. Uh, how are you guys treating uh, this building down on the bottom side? I think it's blocking. As um, okay. Yeah, well, I think all of it is blocking except from the, the pictorial uh, zombies there. I think that's just, okay. we're just ignoring that decoration. Okay, you guys are doing, cool. So you guys are doing the whole thing there. And the uh, the obstacles, how how much of the uh, of these are you treating as the actual obstacle? I think everything again, apart from the picture of the horse. Everything uh, except like any, the horses and the bones. Okay. Yeah, any arrows and things sticking out of it, which won't count. Um, okay. But yeah, the main spikes. Yes. Okay. Okay. Cool. Uh, I think that's. Otherwise, it's it's the same map that we've seen. So, all right. So let's talk about deployment. We got the night stalkers up top and the undead along the bottom. So, okay, could you walk us through your deployment, please? Uh, starting over here on the right with your phantoms. Okay. Uh, I took uh, phantoms um, to try to get this objective, but uh, they will be difficult. Um, a scarecrow's horde in the center to protect this objective and try to to get the, the, the center one. Um, a butcher's horde uh, with a finder, obviously, mm -hmm. to, to control this forest with a, um, a butcher flare reaper to support him. Um, it has a, he has a spearing talisman, a spearing. Uh, behind there, uh, there are a planar apparition uh, to support these units, and she can support the the right plank too. And next, uh, a scarecrow sword with the three mine streets behind to get the the lighting bolt eighteen and try to dom dominate the right flank. Uh, the second planner to support this unit. And a butcher, a butcher play reaper to support um, is a chap. So next two words of, of butchers, uh, one with the striding boot, spider boot, and a uh, phantoms to each other chaff units and mobile troop to get objectives and try to get plants. So that's all. All right. Awesome. Thanks. Uh, and then, Justin, can you walk us through your deployment starting over here on the left? Yeah. Van Pompeg, um, you know, serves a great purpose on the flank, um, possibly protecting that token with the meter madness. And then I've got um, my horde of zombies followed by a mummy regiment followed by another horde of zombies um, looking at a strong kind of anvil in the middle. And then I've got uh, zombie trolls there uh, supporting and protecting the uh, caterpillar SRI. Um, so yeah, hopefully they'll, they'll be able to get into that forest. And then you've got another zombie trolls uh, supporting the elite SRI. Uh, directly in front of 18 lightning bolts so hopefully they'll survive past turn one we will see and uh, then we've got whites uh, double whites nothing on them standard whites and then uh, you've got a rev king for inspiring some surge and then the revenant rev regiment with boots down on the flank all right all right great thanks so much for walking us through that guys uh, good luck to both of you with your game. Have fun.
uh, we're gonna we're we're gonna watch a game from here, and uh, we'll see you guys back here when you're done. Yeah. Cheers, Mike. All right. Good luck, guys. Thanks. Good luck, good guys. Luck. Enjoy. All right. Oof. Man, that's going to be a mess over there on the right. Yeah, it is. Very it scary. is. It's going to be bloody. How tall are knights? Are uh, mine screeches? Five. Five. Okay, so so they they can see over the five trolls then. Yeah, Oof. they'll get covered yep. in that shot. But yeah. still. But still. But still. Yeah, uh, so I feel like the uh, I feel like that uh, vamp on peg will likely make pretty short work of the phantoms over there on the left since he's got him out charged by one inch. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's going to yeah. be interesting given how much of uh, Koke's army is on the right. Trying to bring it into the middle late game is going to be a bit of a chore. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I can imagine that um, skeleton hold in the middle. You know, swing to the right. I think get some more mm -hmm. unit strength from that center token. Maybe, maybe the other soul reaver infantry can then support the other flank as well. Especially if the other ones are getting shot at. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think Justin has a like a more comfortable left flank. Like he has like two hordes and the mummies to park, just park there and get the center on the other token. Yeah, and the vampire has no opposition there. Because Koke, the only thing he can, I think he can achieve with the phantoms is try to annoy slash delay the vampire, but nothing more. Yeah. And and Justin has four units that can one shot a lot of things in combat. And yeah. I think Koke is gonna have a hard time there, but he's got the shooting and he's got some high nerf units, so mm. we'll see. Yeah, that's the thing. It just doesn't break those units on the initial charge. The heal 14 behind them is definitely oh, yeah. going to, uh, to hurt in the long run. Do you think there's enough inspiring knocking about? Um, I mean, I highly doubt that the Rev Cav are going to... I mean, they're not a good target for the Lightning Bolt to begin with, so it's kind of all right that they're out. Uh, other than that, it is it is spread a little thin. But I mean... Especially if the, uh, the pegs fly off elsewhere. Yeah, or if he yeah. decides that he just wants to pick up some characters early. Yeah, seriously. Yeah. But now, now Koke did Revenant... put the... Yeah, go ahead. No, no, the Revenant Kings are very tough characters to oh, yeah. be, be, yeah. pick up early. This Lash 14, Defense 5. Mm -hmm. Why bother? Yeah. And Koke did I... put the, the Inspiring Talisman on one of his Flesh Rippers, which I thought was oh, an right. interesting choice. Yes. You don't see that mm -hmm. in Night Stalkers very often. Like you said, it is a good counter to like a, a lightning bolt skew list that you might come up against playing like Night Stalkers just for those mm -hmm. early couple turns before you're in line thirst range. So it, it's not bad, and it's not a huge investment either at 20 points. No. All right. So Justin gets the first turn, which I think is pretty big in raise. for him. In Rage, absolutely. I think there's some scenarios like Rage, Plunder, Loot, that getting first is like super big advantage. Yeah, absolutely. I, I wonder if there's no, if there could be like a rules amendment to soften that advantage. Like, for example, the one who takes first turn cannot move at the double or something like that. So it makes like a softer first turn. I don't know. Hmm. I mean, they try and swing it a little bit with you can only burn from turn two but i mean yeah. from turn one you're already restricted on where you can move especially if you're up against an alpha strike army mm -hmm. so yeah maybe it's a good shout so scout this as well and they can just scout forward and then already <laughs> you're at halfway and, and then you get first you know what you're supposed to do right. just just take the uh, world father, and then you have scout as well. Everyone can have scout. Right. Yeah. <laughs> all, the, all, the, all the world fathers can meet in the middle of the table. Yeah. Have a chat before the game starts. Just a meeting events. That's right. Well, we'll and boot going on. <laughs> Flip a Talking coin and decide who's going to win. <laughs> going very slowly, yeah. Yeah. <sighs> 
So, I mean, Justin's going to be able to pick up the top left token uncontested at this point. Just give me yeah, the strength definitely. to walk forward. I don't know whether or not throwing yes. the butchers of Pathfinder in towards that half of the board is going to be a good return early on. All of Justin's killing power is neatly tucked into the right one third of the board. <laughs> definitely condensed. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, I don't know if he if he goes and commits more to that flank, he might lose out in the center. So it's definitely a tough call. Yeah, it's going to be difficult for Koke to protect that uh, token on the left on his side for very long because because I mean it's going to take a long time for those zombies to get up there and contest it, and the scarecrows can you know just like. Their best bet is probably just to walk past it, mm -hmm. you know, and box them out by three inches to hold them for as long as, as he can. Yeah, I, agree. I don't know if, if by going second he can do that because he's on a difficult terrain, so he cannot move at the double. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I don't know, maybe he can achieve that, but I, but at least Koke has not invested many points there. It's just a horde and a troop. And I think if I was him, my main goal will be delay the vampire like yeah. basically park the, park, like park the phantoms on the fence and make him do a hindered front charge um yes, or, or or threaten or to run backwards. over and take it yeah or go Something backwards like with the phantoms and and just annoy i don't know i wonder I if know. the phantoms might try and just, again delay the um incoming unit strength and abandon the token in front of them i don't know if that if that peg's guarding that token, he might try and delay the, the other one being taken. Yeah, I don't know. It's another mean, strategy. Using the Phantoms as high up a vamp lord for the whole game isn't a bad call either. That's true. Yeah. He's doing the dance. Yeah, I mean, every every turn he keeps it over there on, on the left side of the hill is one turn that it's not flanking something else or swooping in and sniping out a token. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I got to paint one of those guys. <laughs> They're really good. I'm, two, uh, I, am, I, am, I am currently painting one of those guys. Yeah. <laughs> I have the the Reaper Nightmare uh, Storm Steed, I think it's called Reaper Miniature Storm Steed, and I'm putting a vampire just nice. Okay. So. I've got a I've got a really old uh, game zone Dark Elf Sorceress on Pegasus that I primed oh. but never painted, and. You can easily just, you know, paint her, paint her pale and color a vampire. Uh, it's a pretty cool looking model. Let's see if I can maybe dig that out and try to get it, get it polished up and reprimed. Yeah, looks like just. This can be your your New Year good purpose, or. <laughs> yeah. Looks like Justin is doing his best to try to zone out the phantoms from being able to fly past him. Yeah, because because it can't fly forward and grab it this turn. No, but no, but his original positioning, like Dan was saying in the chat, there he could have flown them and pivoted them out of the vamp lord's line of sight, and then just spent the whole game running around him. Well, he had right. to turn. <laughs> that is one of the reasons. I mean, it is a little bit pricey to bring lightning bolt on the vamp, but I do like the flex option. That, that gives that character where they can just if they do have to sit and protect something they're at least doing something throughout the game just throwing a couple extra lightning bolt every turn what can they bring is it six i think it's three it's not oh, really. yeah antonio something. brought that antonio had the vampire with the lightning ball and and sometimes the boomstick so yeah he can yeah. be the first first four turns just positioning and, and shooting and then yeah. five or six just go to a flank if it sees the opportunity mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, not a bad call. I mean, maybe the, the boomstick is over investment, but 20 points for a couple of lightning three. Yeah, uh, exactly. And giving him that secondary role is nice. Yep. It's true. Yeah, I'm just thinking about all the times that like my my vamp on horse has gotten wind blasted back out of charge range and couldn't do anything <laughs> the next turn of and be like, all right, fine, walk forward again. Maybe I'll get him next time. Like, yes. Yeah, having having just a little something to just flick back would be nice. Yeah, that is uh, the one thing we haven't touched base on that is interesting mm -hmm. about Coke's list is the amount of wind blast that's in it for seriously. Rage. Yeah. 
that can be really annoying. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, all of a sudden. I mean, how, many, how much is it? 18, in, uh, 18 dice? Yeah, it's equal That's lightning like bolt to wind blast. That's crazy. Like, yeah, so you could literally yeah. just throw a hammer away. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I got, to, uh, I got cool, to contend with a pretty good amount of wind blast from the Night Stalker list this round. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, it... It, it makes it difficult. It makes it you can difficult. just because they can see everything. They can just get rid of the guy blocking the uh, the unit you're trying to get rid of, and then you can yeah. you know, throw the rest of the wind blast at the one you want to get out of range. So good. Or or just like YOLO those phantoms up onto a onto an objective and blow whatever unit he's got minding it off of it, burn it, and then it doesn't <laughs> matter if you kill the phantoms. You already got the point. Yeah, yeah. that's right. All right, Coke, turn one. Yep. Okay. But Justin has the Revenant Kings who can put behind to avoid to backstop. critical wind blood. Yep. You can still move them though if you wanted to. I'm not, not, not sure if they're in range. Oh, by, by the way, Justin is using the the undead side designed. Using the what, sorry? I designed those those units. His oh, did you? Oh, nice. Except the Soul Rivers, which I copied from another place. But the others I made. The others you made? I've seen those thrown about quite a bit. Well done, mate. They're, they're nice looking, nice looking unit. Yeah. I, I should probably steal those whites. They're, they're better looking than the ones I've been using. <laughs> I do find it's about strange. You're like, oh, I'm going to use that one. <laughs> it's got to find yeah. it. And I feel like I've seen these purple Night Stalkers a lot. Yeah, those yeah, are the ones sure. that yes. <laughs> oh, you did this. I did the majority of them, yeah. I mean, a lot okay. of the unit figures were uh, carried over, but my one buddy was wanting to learn Night Stalkers, so I did the entire wow. unit entry with stats so he wouldn't have to flip back and forth. Yeah, they look really nice. Far too long. I do not recommend it. <laughs> You'll be very patient. <laughs> I can do it. All right. So, so who do we expect to be the first target for the lightning bolt? Is is he going to go after the soul reavers, or is he going to try to pick off some whites? If I was me, whites. Mm -hmm. If they get, if they, if they are not in cover, whites. If they're in cover, well, maybe That's soul reavers are yeah. easier to pick up because they have lower nerve, but. Or at least to waver. Uh, they at least, yeah, they they waver. That's all. They're same same defense and same nerve. They just waver. Um, um, I mean, he, he may even just go for trolls, get rid of some chaff. They're yeah, that's not easy to do. Yeah, uh, I'd probably still be going for the soul reavers just because it's going to take them a little longer to get into combat than the whites will, and then mm -hmm. the whites can start life leeching that back. Also, the waver is nice. I don't know. It's tough. The cover. Yeah, no, that's cool. I think they're getting cover from the heal the whites. Yeah. So maybe I will just go for Soul Rivers. Yeah, if he could move the Scarecrows forward, but not so far that he's worried that they're going to get flanked or anything. But I guess those those Revcap probably can't see around the hill. And slide the, the Screeches up in front of the building where he would have a clear shot at that middle white unit without them getting cover. That might be worth doing. But I don't know if that puts him closer to all the hammers than he wants to be in turn one. Mm. And also the the planet apparitions they they do have mind mind fog. Yeah, they have a lot of mind fog. Yes, so if he puts a lot of damage but not root, maybe he can try mind fog next turn. Yeah, and I mean even throwing it out early since the dad's shattering now will help yeah. push it over. Oh uh, yeah, forgot about uh, that. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, it's, de it's definitely worth doing. Mind fog is significantly better. I know. So you could stack it with lightning bolt, right? And then have you can stack with anything. Exactly. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, I used to just mind fog things with Morgoth in turn one just for fun, and yeah. now it's like, no, no, if the catapults get something close, but not quite close enough, just throw another one on there. Get you over the line. It's very cool. It's a fun update to a spell that was eh, yeah. kind, of, kind of mad before. Yeah. Oh, turn two is going to be interesting. <laughs> yeah. yeah. They're just there. Well, I mean, he successfully managed to keep the whites from double charging the scarecrows for the first turn. So that is nice. Um, 
Trying mm -hmm. to mitigate that speed advantage as much as possible using that hill right now is going to be Coke's best shot to uh, avoiding those double charges early on. Yeah, I could always surge it, but I don't know if he's got enough surge for that. Yeah, I think he has five on the right side. On that side, yeah. I mean, yeah, it's just, still. Just five. It wouldn't be a difficult surge, but there's been a couple games that oh, there we go. where one difficult. and two have not shown up. Yep. So that hill, yeah, that, that hill is blocking lots of line of sight right now. Mm -hmm. um, you can see the screeches. But he can't get to them because of the flesh where, where the flesh ripper is and where the scarecrows are over here. And the other one, I think, is just out of there, the white's range. Um, but you don't really want a single charge of planar apparition if you can help it because they do have ensnare. Is there any items on the whites? I've forgotten. Uh, no. It takes haste and then. Yeah. No. On the soul reavers, there was one with blessing and uh, the other one with, with caterpillar. That's right. Which is going overkill with the soul rivers. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think that's there's there's two ways if you put up this, just go for overkill or go for wave of mitigation. Yeah. The, the I just, uh, knowing Justin that he hates anything that rolls on fours. So if he knows that going in the woods is gonna make him hit on fours, <laughs> he's gonna make sure he gets those threes. I mean we've been seeing a lot of elite and replacement for boots of striding and the other um yeah, sharpness. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of the time, when you're not hindered, it's a benefit. And when you are hindered, it shakes out to be about the same. And for a five point differential on regiments, it works out well. Just depends if you've got Thunderous to lose on it, I think. Yeah, no, absolutely. Yeah. It's the yeah, only difference. Different thing if you're running TC heavy units or light units, rather. All right, let's see what he shoots at. Going for the whites. First one without okay. cover. Yep. I guess that's probably good because all the shots against the Soul Reavers would be in cover, but he at least gets one, maybe two clear shots yeah. on the whites. Yep. Yeah. It's going to be so I think one, one clear one. Yeah. And the mind fuck. And the mind. Yep. <laughs> And he also has the special character, but she just has in enthrall, I think, right? Yeah, but she can pull yep. you in with that one. It's a unique enthrall. Oh, man. That's, oh, that's, a, that's such a great rule. Ooh! Good and, I mean, two, it's still solid. Okay, yeah, it evens back out. But, you know, for, for the one with no cover, you love seeing four hits. Right? Yeah. <laughs> just one hit, uh, no wounds. And going on to the third one, three not hits, bad. not bad. Oh, nice. Not bad. Two rooms. Two more. Nice. Total of four. Yeah. I mean, with, with my uh, plug, he could box car twice here. Yeah. Seems unlikely. So four, four wounds is a pretty good start on the lights. Yeah, not bad at all. Yeah, there's no hill going around, so that's great. Oh, yes, my. because she, oh. Even if, oh, no, that's the mind fog. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> now just do that two more times. Right. Yeah, he wishes that was the nerve check. Oh yeah. man! Even if he, if you don't kill him, four or five wounds because he, uh, Justin doesn't have heal is good. Exactly. Yeah. Because that puts you in danger if you get a charge from the butchers. You're effectively that's, dash thirteen, now, aren't they? Yeah. Because that's seventeen, you're you're not gonna one shot him, but uh, with four or five wounds, it's not so unlikely. Yeah. Now they're basically a regiment. Yeah. All right, top of two. This is shaping up good. Yeah, no, that was excellent use of the hill on Koke's part that turn. Yep. So do we see any charges happening? He's made it very difficult for Justin to yes. up here. I mean, he could do, I mean, the surge isn't going to happen on the butchers at the back. It's too far out. Um, he can throw some zombie trolls into the scarecrows and just hold everything up. Yeah, and then start taking 18 lightning bolt to the 
Oh, they, I mean, at this point, he has no choice. He really has to start getting up as quick as possible to mitigate that shooting. Yep. I mean, he can double charge uh, the damaged whites and the zombie troll ridge into the scarecrows. Uses rev cav to shield the butchers and nudge these other whites up so they can see over the hill. Yeah, he might actually even be able to. Testing his options. Yep. I mean, those butchers do have to come across a fence. That one's got boots, so it's not going to care. And that one might miss them. That's really good positioning. It is. On Koke's part. Pretty good. Yeah, no, it's it's excellent. You didn't miss anything there, to be honest. Justin's got to think about, or maybe think about leaving something up behind as well, just to uh, mm -hmm. protect those tokens so the um, phantoms don't just fly over and go, yoink. Mm -hmm. It's another thing to think about. Such a difficult yeah. scenario. And that's kind of the problem is that all of his units over there really want to move forward and do something, but he's got exactly. to leave yeah. something. Yeah, and nothing, none of those are cheap units to leave behind. No. Yeah, you really want to be using them. I think Justin's being a little bit uh, too conservative with the Vampire on Pegasus. Just keep him behind the token just to guard him. He could make a better use. Yeah. 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 That's God, he, he could just sit there all game at this point, and Koke would be happy with that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. well, it's a great trade. <clears throat> Can't beat that conversion. All right. So, what's Justin got to do over here on the right then? Like, he's got to. He's got to move forward. He's got to start engaging because he can't just stand back and get shot. Mm -hmm. And he can't leave the tokens open for the phantoms to swoop in and get them. So what's he What's what's he got to leave back? The, the soul reavers in the middle, I guess, can walk up behind the zombie trolls and keep, keep the mute strength on the token. And uh, I don't know what you do about the other one. He's presented with a lot of difficult choices here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure. <laughs> right. Difficult I mean, the, the middle just sort of moves up and waits, right? Moves up and waits. And there's nothing really slowing them down there. But uh, yeah. I think that zombie Charles has just got to get in, get in there, block some things moving, and then he can really just position himself to counter as best as he can, really. Yeah. What's the height of the flesh rippers? Can they see over the hill? I think they're just three. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, they're just they're just butchers on foot. But pretty handy. Yeah, for sure. I mean their positioning's great. Yeah, nice little nimble characters that score. And they uh, in a flank they start to hurt, it adds up. Yeah, five, five attacks, pressing two, hitting on threes. Mm -hmm. I think Jeff Trace took a couple of them in his list this round. Yeah, yeah he's been running two or three fairly consistently. Yeah, those those cheap, nimble characters are very good. Like the Butcher or the Death Horror Eternal, they're, they're very good. With the nimble and good nerf and just small attacks for consistency to round off something or support. I think they're very good value for... 100 and low, very little points. Yeah, I mean, what's their cost? It's like under 150, right? 110. I think the, yeah. I think this is Yeah. That's super cheap. Justin doesn't have any easy charge this, this turn. No, it's, it yeah. is difficult. And this is where it sets you up for the rest of the game. Turn yeah. two and three. Game's made, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, did a great job deploying over here on the right and a great job moving himself up. He hasn't really left Justin any easy charges, but he's got 18 lightning bolts, so Justin yeah. can't wait. He's, he's, he's got to move up and get started. Um, he can't play core, coy with him, or he's just going to start losing units. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's almost... I know we're talking about him leaving something behind to guard the token, but I think... 
if he's weighing up options, I think he's got to throw more out there than not because he doesn't want to be leaving himself weak on another unit. So I don't know. And you don't want those cav to be disordered because they're, they're pretty much useless unless they're just guarding a token. So yeah. Have they got the, um, the boots on, the, the cav? Uh, I think they do, yeah. Yeah, okay. the Roman cavalry has the boots. Yeah, but of of the units over there, like I'll take I'll take whites over rev cav. Oh yeah, hundred percent. Um, so I think if it were me, I think I would put the rev cav forward and leave maybe slide the white sideways so they could see around the corner a little more, and leave them on the token. Send the injured whites and the and the trolls forward into the scarecrows and move the soul reavers up so they're still on the token but close enough to charge anything that they want next turn. Yes. I think the charge, the white, the wounded whites are also in, in charge range of the flesh reaper, but you will get then both charged by the the planner and the butchers and the sessioner also there. Yeah. So he is in range. Yep. No, nah, but it's very, really, really scary. Yeah, but like you say, if if he waits, he's just going to be shot at. So yeah. Yeah. Oh man, yeah, it's tricky. But yeah, also, yeah. Koke cannot be also very patient because he he then has to go and turn into the middle, and there's gonna be three yeah. really chewy units to get through to get in the middle, and he's gonna lose the left flank sooner or later. So he yeah. has to take deal of this right thing before turn five, I think. Yep. Yeah, because if Justin can get that. Uh, token away from the scarecrows on the left, and he'll have more unit strength in the middle. Then even if Koke cleans up on the right side, that's still just a draw. Yep. Yeah. 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 I don't know. I think uh, I'm not sure that the the whites towards the right can see the scarecrows around the hill. No. So I don't. So I don't know that he could. Yeah. So I don't know if they can put the wounded ones into that flesh ripper in front of the planar apparition by the forest and still double charge the scarecrows. No. Um, no, that was that was part of uh Koke's positioning was that the scarecrows can only be double charged by the whites and zombie trolls. Yeah. Because if if it wasn't for the mind screech, I think the 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 game for Justin will be just stall on the right. Because the other hand you have win, and yeah. the better you, you stall. But you have the mind screens which are gonna shoot in at you, and they're gonna annoy you, so you cannot do that so easily. Yeah. And that's the trick. It forces you to, to even move or make a mistake. It's really good. Only thing is, as soon as he charges that scarecrow hold, I mean, whatever's there isn't going to be in a, a healthy spot after their next turn. You know, there's a lot waiting for you there. Yeah, I don't know. It's not, it's not great. You can do that if you want. But it's not great. Did they have line of sight? I don't think I so. Him, I saw him measuring it out, but I thought originally when Koke. I don't think uh, whites have line of sight to anything. Maybe uh, just the. Oh, yeah, the. He might, he might be able to see just the corner of those butchers. They would be landing on a fence, but they already hit on threes. If they can even fit. Because right there, it looks like Justin might be hanging off the board edge a little bit. I don't think they have line of sight, but maybe they yeah, have. Yeah, to see it, but they must have spoken okay. about it. I don't know if he's tipping the corner before the rope cab jumped in. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know about this charge. 
even if he had line of sight, I'm not sure that I would do this. This is awfully aggressive. And he needs to slide over a little more because he's hanging off the table with his ref gap. Yeah. But he does have, looks like enough space before he bumps the next units. Interesting. So the problem there is that that leaves that other token completely unguarded. Mm -hmm. Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen. Yeah, those phantoms can easily get it next turn unless he sends something over to babysit it. But those whites are going to be hindered as well. Yep. That's and the rev cab already hit on fours. Yeah, and then the uh, butchers went from they've got boots, so you know they're still going to be hitting hard. He is far enough away that nothing will inspire them because the butcher flesh river with the inspiring talisman is all the way over here by the planer. Uh, and the only inspiring source of uh, Justin's on this side of the table is the Rev King back here behind the other whites. Three, six, nine. Yeah, that's, that's well out. But um, ugh, it still seems like a risky charge to me. Word of Butchers is 16, 18 at defense five. They'll be wounded on three, so I guess it's 18, 18 attacks hitting on fours and 16 attacks hitting on fours. It's, it's not terrible. I still don't yeah. think uh, they had line of sight, though. It's interesting. Oh, I was muted. Uh, yeah, I think 34 attacks on fours and threes will be like 11 or 12 wounds with Brutal. Yeah. If he doesn't have bad luck, should get it. And yeah. the Inspiring Butcher... Isn't there? It's they, they too have, far. Yeah, He's too far. Have, uh, I don't have Inspire either. Interesting. I mean, if this ends up getting called and happening, I think at that point I would definitely be throwing the other double charge up and then just positioning the Soul Reavers. Um, so if he does pop them, one, two, three, three inches, three inches, he will have more unit strength on that token that the whites are currently on than Koke does. These butchers will still be on it, but he'll have the Rev Cav and the whites on it. And he'll have this Butcher Flesh Ripper, but that's only one, and the Horde's too far away. So if he successfully pops that unit, he could burn that token this turn. Yeah, it's probably what's uh, inviting that him over there as well. Yeah, but no again, he's 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 he's, he's going to trade it for the one that he abandoned when the fan phantom just lie over there and pick it up. So it'll be a very short-lived advantage. Trying to hide the whites from the mind screech. Uh -huh. Or at least get cover. I'm not sure he can actually hide it. Hmm. Thinking about that double charge, maybe? It's tempting, isn't it? I, I guess know. you get to this stage in the turn, you think, okay, I need to decide now, don't you? Yeah.
Very interesting. So he's moved up. Oh, okay. Going with yeah. Interesting. Okay, there we go. I personally would have contested that, I think. Oh, on, the, on the scarecrows, you mean? No, just on the on the line of sight for the... Uh, the oh, sure. Yeah, absolutely. I have to double check what's going on there. Mm. Right, just keeps pushing the mummies forward. Go, mummies. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, they are, what, the same amount of unit strength as uh, yeah. Scarecrows, three and three, yeah. Are now in in three inches range of the token? Mm, almost. Oh. Almost. Like, so I guess the crows. Now he can yeah. charge with the Scarecrows and try to delay that. I don't know. Or maybe you are suiciding the Scarecrows if you do that. Yes. Yeah. Mm. Okay, on to combat then. Yeah, cool. I've got a question for Sam with the Flesh Ripper being able to pick up the token. Yeah, either the, the Flesh Ripper or the Phantoms are going to be able to fly over and grab the bottom right mm. token uncontested. I don't even think, yeah, even with a full backup from the Rev Cab, they're not going to be anywhere close enough to contest. No. So I think he's just hedging his bets on just running oh, to that side of the board. 14 full. 14 hits from the whites on fours. That's really good. And 10 yeah, wounds. That'll put him on 15 plus brutal. That's snakes. This is, it's done well, bro. You beat twice. Nice. I was waiting for a double one, to be honest. Right. Yeah, I mean, there wasn't even a reroll there either. Yeah. Yeah, didn't need it. Didn't need a reroll. You get so used to rolling it twice just in case. Yeah, this is true. Yeah. <laughs> double click. Yeah, basically. Close your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> um, how fast? Okay, so yeah, so the flesh rippers do go twelve, and they are nimble. So three, six, nine, twelve. Yeah, that one lone flesh ripper could run over there and grab it. Um, or the phantoms could swoop down and grab it. Yes, if the flesh ripper goes and grab it. Then the other units, if they go forward, they just leave the other token exposed. So somebody will have to stay behind. Yeah. And I think Justin picks up the token now, right? Like we discussed. He yeah. should, yeah. You might have forgotten. Or maybe it hasn't occurred to him that he has it. Yeah, maybe not. He just wanted to get rid of that unit. Yep. So, yeah, I mean, the Rev Cav are within three. The Butchers are within three. Phantoms are. Flesh Ripper is, but that's all. So, yeah, that's like six to four. Here go the Phantoms. Yep. Yep, so we're expecting that. And then it's just a question of what do you do about the whites? And rev cav in your face. I guess the the, the rev cav are basically pinned behind the whites. So yeah, they're they're more or less out of the game as soon as you uh, at least for a couple of turns will they grind. Yep. And that butcher horde does have boots, so they're not too terribly bothered about charging into that fence. Hit the whites. There isn't really anything else. I mean, this planar apparition could come over there and. But that's not really what you want to do with the planar apparition at this point in the game. And the planner has dread. Oh, that's true. Yeah, so but it just needs to get within six and it's doing its job. Also helps. Mm -hmm. And now also what he can do is, with the wounded, uh, just keep fire, fire with the lightning ball and then fly with the Shanira, enter out, go into combat and mm -hmm. try to kill, kill it. She's so good. Yep. Yeah, yeah, this is super good. Oh. He might be charging the Flesh Ripper into the Wounded Whites instead of Lightning Bolting them. So he, you know, I, I guess he'll be Lightning Bolting Soul Reavers uh, instead. 
<laughs> yeah, why not? Still not a bad target. <laughs> <laughs> Could be worse. Could be worse. Meanwhile, on the other side of the table, <laughs> <Stay on me. laughs> it's like a desert over there, isn't it? Right. Tumbleweed. There's a vampire trying to goat phantoms into coming thing... forward. They're like, no, <laughs> nope, not doing it. Another you thing would be if if he charges with Eshenira to the zombie trolls of on the right, will completely block the soul rivers. Yeah. Yep. Because I can't see over trolls. I, I use this formation, but with the Revenant Cavalry. And one thing you have to remember is always put the Cavalry one inch away so you can yeah. withdraw the whole inch and sidestep so it doesn't block you. So if I think what I will do with the Shenira is just charge the zombie trolls and stay there. And so Rivers can't do anything. Except be shot at. <laughs> Yeah, I agree with uh, Dan in the comment section right now is saying the left side isn't as much of a stalemate as it is a win for the undead currently. He's asking yeah. what uh, what Koke should be trying to do to uh, get that token. And at this moment, I'm kind of pulling a blank. The meat has completely pushed the phantoms out, and there's there's not a lot that can be done currently. I mean, if it, I feel like if I was playing Night Stalkers, I'd send Vincent Shira back there to grab that Rev King and then throw him into me so I could punch him so he couldn't surge anything. And that takes the surge threat off the table. Mm -hmm. So his plan is he's moved Ashenira to onto the flank of the cavalry to probably enthrall it and charge it and remove the Thunderous. And remove Thunderous, yeah. Although they're they're looking at a fence. Wouldn't they lose that when they yeah. run over the fence anyway? Yeah. Definitely. Well, not not they lose; they just lose one thunderous yeah, or hinder charge. But like Jesse said, they're pretty much boxed in for next turn anyway. Yeah, they're not they're not much of a threat at this point. I mean, unless the butcher is one shot whites, which and Eshenira also has dread. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, that's right. The ref cap do have boots. You're right. Okay. He did not pop the boots. The boots last. He didn't have to because since he double charged the ah, ref cap. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. True. Interesting. Yeah, he's done the same I said with the Senira, but with the scarecrows. So he's charged there and yeah. And now uh, the scarecrows are blocked. Is because I think he doesn't better. have line of sight also. Yeah, yeah but now the, the Soul Reavers in the woods are in their flank, so if he doesn't do something to get in the way of these guys, these zombie yeah. trolls, which maybe he's doing with butchers. Okay, maybe never mind. Butchers. Never mind. He thought about <laughs> it. It's fine. Okay, we charge him. Are yeah, Soul Reavers going to have room to just hit the flank of them now? Yeah, do they have line of sight there? Yeah. Uh, no. That one's on the right, sorry. Oh, the ones on the right. Uh, yeah, they can yeah, yeah, no, yeah, just... They'll be able to see, and they're in arc. Yeah. Yeah. Not a good trade. I think it's better just let the... If if he lets the Soul River charge the Scarecrows, okay, they're getting in a bad position because there will be a horde of butchers and a planner operation just waiting for them. Mm-hmm. I'd worry about that as well with the uh, zombie Charles being shambling. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Good positioning. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. No, no. You can see it's trying, Not can't quite. you? It was it was yeah. a great it was a great move though to try. Yeah, just for one millimeter. Yeah. Yep. Didn't quite get it far enough forward. And that was the issue, right? The planer can't move that far forward through the trees. 
to box them all the way out like he was trying to. Because yep. it only moves, what, seven? Yeah. And Pathfinder is like the only rule that it doesn't have. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't fit it on the page. Right. All right. Maybe so I think your call was, you know, maybe a strong. What? Your your um your call with the um, Estrina charging the trolls might have been the better option. I think you wouldn't have to worry about giving up a flank and still boxes in the trolls and the soul rivers. Yeah, and don't doesn't leave you a a flank open. Yeah, but exactly. The rev cav aren't really threatening anything this round. No, getting that uh, getting that double off definitely changed this side. It is going to be very interesting trying to deal with everything now. Yeah, I mean, that's a super aggressive start, right? Double charging something in the top of turn two. I mean, it's what that undead list wanted to do. Yeah, it's hard to avoid it. Right? It's true. I mean, they had the speed advantage and everything else. It was just positioning. It was keeping them in there. Oh, he did not burn the token. Yeah, I was yeah. surprised he didn't mention it. Maybe he didn't think he could get it, or I don't know. That's okay. Nice. It's easily missed, isn't it? Yeah. So hindered front charge into a zombie horde. He's double charging, I think, with and the butchers. Okay. okay. Will also and be this, other, uh, this is the Pathfinder, yeah. It is, yeah. Did the butchers like okay. slide it past the forest? Yeah, 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 zombies yeah. In the forest. yeah. They can see all the way over to oh, the yeah, far. Never mind. I didn't see if the zombies were in the forest, Jesus. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they are. <laughs> I didn't see that. I always say, No, the, the zombie horde is very long, and I see, I didn't realize they were touching the forest. Yeah. Also. <laughs> And the stalling vampire and phantom troops. <laughs> yep. Duel at sunset. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So now he's moving his other planer on the right up to help support the combat there. I guess, but he's also got Intense Hero over there, already giving dread. So it doesn't. You can't double up on dread. Um. Possibly so. just to. Put it on those zombie trolls. But you've already got it with this one. Double dread. If only dread stack. Oh, mate. And Bruce. <laughs> and Bruce, right. Oh, oh then that stalkers would be super OP because yeah. they have dread and everything. Yeah. Is it Cousin Madfall that has the additional. Yeah. Um, Cousin that, that always gets me out. So that with dread or brutal. <laughs> All right, here comes the shooting. We're expecting to see lightning bolts probably at the. Soul Reaver Infantry, not in the woods, I would guess. Uh, looks like here comes the Enthrall first. And that's four successes, so yep, that'll slide that Rev Cab over into the Night Stalker character on the far right. See the charge on the zombie horde coming. I didn't either. No, me either. I like it. I think if he. I like it. Uh, it. Oh, to contest the center. Mm. Oh, oh, mess. Two hits with a second. So he's going after the ones in the woods, but I guess they're all in cover, so it doesn't matter. Yeah. Yeah. yeah no wounds, okay. oh. and only one hit. Oh, shooting coming up empty this turn. Just one well. wound. And a number six. <laughs> yeah. 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 Could happen. Not today. That's the mind right. fog. Oh, was that my fog? That didn't work. Maybe. Well, but he can try twice. Oh. Oh, that's the mind fog. That's yeah. mind fog on the other ones. He did that last time, didn't he? <laughs> <laughs> All 
Right. Cocker did that to me on a tournament. He just did me one wound with some stupid character to Azorius, gave me a double six, and uh, keep me there for one turn, and it was awful. Mm -hmm. Not right. this time. Not this time. Seven and a six roll isn't going to do anything to 15, 17 units. Uh, but now into combat, and we've got a few. Looks like he's going to start with the Butchers on the whites, guarding this token. Uh, four wounds? Yeah, I mean, that's... With Dread, could do something. Five, yeah, needs a 12. Doesn't see nope. it. All right, it's in, in, in Sinishra, I guess is it? It's uh, a hard name. I get it wrong every time. <laughs> yeah. Should we head on? Um, Three, I think. Two wounds. Oh, gee, she's crushed three? Wow. Yeah, yeah. she's a beast. Yeah, no, she is. Come uh, on. Yeah. <laughs> of course, of course she is. And has dread and enthral and moves them and she flies. I can fly. <laughs> and she's nice. Oh, uh, I thought the Zuzu was bad. I think she's only 130 points. Yeah, uh, no, uh, 160, but still. Oh, 160. Yeah, still no, pretty good. Yeah. Her nerves not bad either. I mean, we're gonna be seeing I think she's fearless. Yeah, she's yeah. like Fearless 14, isn't she? Uh, 13. 13. Yeah. 13. yeah. Still. Still. That's five, right? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> she ain't going anywhere quick. Um, yeah, okay. That's what, two wounds on the zombie trolls? Yeah. Their defense five. I don't think Scarecrow's have anything. I don't think he, yeah, skip the check. That's it's not bad. Seven moves and then the scarecrows. Seven hits on six is even bad, and six more wounds. That will put them on thirteen. Still a tall so, ass. Nine or something. Oh. That would do it. The dash point two. King. Yeah. So needs another roll. Needs that again. No, oh. I'm not gonna get it on three. So that's big for Justin. Yeah. yeah. I think so, yeah. It's yeah, because now he can search. Those uh, buyers would be. Search the mummies. Um, yep, search the mummies in the flank. I don't think he can position the zombie trolls without sacrificing the Soul Reaver charge to uh, search the zombies into the butchers. Or sort of the zombie trolls, rather. He can move him back, maybe. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Is the only way he's going to be able to do that is you know, sacrificing a Soul Reaver charge for a turn. Oh, uh, sure, yeah. Which I would probably... I, I mean, I what, might... would that, what would that attack be um, from the trolls in the rear? Uh, they're, what, nine, nine, hitting on, nine attacks and on fours as a... So it'd be fives? Yeah. Yes, it's, yeah. it's not amazing. I wouldn't do that. I think I would try to move these trolls up so that he could surge them into the flank of that planer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But but only if he doesn't block the, <laughs> the Soul Reaver infantry. All right, guys. Unfortunately, I have to head over to that client meeting. They got pushed up. So best of luck on the rest of the cast, and I'm going right. to follow along as best as I can. All right. All right, and you never know. We, we we might still be covering it by the time you're done. You don't know. <laughs> yeah, yes. Sounds good. I think they're not uh, playing with clocks, so. <laughs> yeah, this is true. Yeah, they're they nice forgot to set up game. a game. Oh, All fair. right, guys. See you soon. <laughs> Bye, Jesse. See you, brother. Bye. Bye. All right. So turn three. This turn where stuff happens. Um, although this has been a pretty, pretty action-packed game already. Just going into top of three here. So if Justin remembers the token this turn, those, that cab is still in as well, isn't it? At the top right. Yeah, I think so. They haven't moved. So if he remembers, he should be able to claim it again. Yeah, but Koke did burn that one token with his uh, phantoms. So that is one point for him. So we ought to be tied if Justin remembers the burn. Yeah. Top right <laughs> he remembers this time. Uh, let's double check. Yeah, they're, they're, they're still in. And nothing else is around him. It depends on what he decides to do with that top token as well, whether he goes for the surge on the, the crows or 
send something to collect that token this round. Depends what he's yeah. got his eyes on. Yeah. I mean, you kind of have to... Ugh. I almost feel like you have to disengage the whites with six wounds, turn them and surge them into the flank of the phantoms to get rid of the phantoms, or they're just going to keep flying along behind you, picking up your tokens. I don't know if you can have <sighs> the, uh, the new disengage rule. Yeah, I, I'm not yeah. sure you can either. I have yeah. questions so, also. <laughs> with the new disengage rule, can you withdraw less than an inch like like he did? Because I, I don't have that clear either. Aha, Thanks. he's asking us. Oh, we go. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> uh, so he wants to know, can he back up the zombie trolls within an inch and sidestep? No. The thing think, is, you can withdraw, and it does say up to an inch. It doesn't say it has to be a foot I think, inch. Whether you I can think, move. You, I oh, think you can up. withdraw uh, without an inch, but then you cannot move because then you are not considered to have charge, so you have to end your movement clear. Yeah. Yeah. So Dan's saying they can't withdraw if they can't get yeah. away. Yeah, I think I think he's, I think that's correct. Um, I've got the fact open right now. I'm gonna look at it. Yeah, I think I think Dan Dan is right. Well, Dan's one of the tos, so he's right regardless. Um, <laughs> Good old Dan. <laughs> <laughs> we'll pay him over here. <laughs> it's good just to get that uh, clarification, whether it's contested later, and as long as you know there and then, right? That's what we're doing. That's fine. So that's why you never put your Soul River uh, within less than an inch to your screen. Yep. Never yeah. ever, Justin. It's so annoying when you get stuck like that. Oh, I have well, a super killing unit that is stuck behind one of my units because I didn't thought about it. Or if that unit gets wavered, then what are you going to do? They can only go backwards. I mean, yeah. these guys are fearless, but yeah. Yeah, I've gotten, I've, I've definitely gotten burned by that before, accidentally Same. putting your, your hammer unit too close to your screen. Such a fine line. Yeah. I mean, Soul Reaver infantry, their footprint's so small that it's surprising what they can squeeze behind. But yeah, it's just trying to keep that gap as open as possible. They said that they should be. Oh uh, yeah, the crows did the two trolls. wounds on the trolls. That's right. They did. Oh. Oh, they were hindered. Ah, oh, okay. 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 All right. Pixel. Night stalkers. All right. Yeah, you really want to get those soul readers in there, but you really can't. <laughs> it's going to be really hard to get the trolls out of the way without charging yes. something, which will also block your flank charge. I'm not sure if I'm liking this change of zombie trolls for Revenant Cavalry troops. Because that one inch of sidestep, it's a lot. Yeah, uh, it that does movement is right. big. Yeah. I mean, it's a toss-up between keeping your, uh, your strength, like your crushing strength. Or the movement. Yeah, depends what your sort of purpose is in using yeah. them. So yeah, I, mean, I like the using. Same uh, I like using uh, wraith troops for that role. Mm. Yes, yes, amazing. Because then your whites can see over them easy. You don't have to worry about. <laughs> the only thing is that cannons can also see. <laughs> uh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's a problem. You need to find a handy hill somewhere, hide behind, or a forest. <laughs> oh, is there a line of sight there? Or is he just turning a face? I'm going to do that. He's going to hotfix that, but that has to be. Okay. Yeah. I think uh, I think I heard uh, a couple of the rules committee guys say that uh, they considered withdrawing less than an inch to be a loophole that needed yeah. to be closed. The wording is obviously contradictory sometimes. Yeah. All right. So he's just turning the soul reavers to face the flank, the butchers. 
He's counter charging with the cavalry. Yeah, on in Sinitra, I guess I'm saying that right. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just say anything and believe it. It's fine. <laughs> I don't know if I would do that because now if a Sinitra flies away, the cavalry has nothing else to charge. Well, maybe yeah. the flesh reapers. Yeah, the flesh reapers are there. Sure. Yeah, they're not looking terrible. And, and, and the phantoms. Yeah. The yeah, Phantoms will be just... gone by then, but the Flesh Reapers will probably still be there. I mean, he's not going to get rid of her anytime soon. They're disordered now, so I think she, I don't think she'll win that grind, but she'll definitely hold him up for a long time. Yeah. So, and and, yeah, and any time in a scenario like this where you can hold up one of your opponent's fastest scoring units with a non-scoring unit, far away from everything you're trying to hold, like it's a, it's a good sign. Yes, I do. Good move. Yeah, these guys are, are taking their time thinking about their moves, but like once they once they commit, like this is top of turn three and we're kind of all in. <laughs> yeah. All the way except yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we're avoiding the elephant in the room, aren't we? <laughs> yeah. The lazy vampire, right? <laughs> the vampire's like, did the game start yet, or <laughs> yeah, what's happening? Come on, he's the general. He's making decisions. You go there. You go right. there. Right. Yeah, that's right. He's protecting. He's protecting important stuff. Very important stuff. Very important. You know what you say. It's if he good... sits there and guards that token all game and keeps him from getting it, and that's the difference, then, like, hey, MVP, right there. Yes, we'll have to swallow our words. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, all right, that was a good idea. Uh-oh. You should be able to move it up and keep within three inches of that token and get within the 21 and then just force another move. Yeah, I think I think he's within 21 there. I think he's within I'll 21 and, and also I'll 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 19, 20, 21. No, with the, with the wild charge, you can get him. You can get him there. Uh, okay, yep, he's turned the mummies to surge them into the flank. So that'll be 24 attacks. Do you think once he gets that flank, he'll be within three inches of that token? Yeah. No, I don't think so. Well, he's he's within three inches now, so when he moves, I think he'll he'll come off of it. But then, if he kills, he come back up. Yeah. Yeah. So that combat guys. I don't think that's gonna happen. That's that's twenty. That's twenty four attacks on fours. Yeah. Yeah. Well, fours yeah. and twos, and then the zombies counter charge the the trolls. Looks like it. Yeah. Because you, um, you, 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 they have pythons because the the Roman kink is there. Yep. All right, here comes the surge, the flank surge on the mummies. Surge. I'm a little worried that these butchers are going to be able to back up and see the soul reavers and corkscrew into them next turn. Oh, five successes. Okay. Wow. Sure. No problem. Surge away. <laughs> Easy. If I were him, I'd be like, can I save up four of those and use them later in the game, yeah. please? It's when you use a double six when you just need like, a three. Yes, right. I'll just save that for later. Like the double six on the mind from before. Yeah, exactly. Right. Twice, I think. All right, moving on to combat. Let's see where he's going to get the look. He's going to start with the mummies here. Okay. I mean, I mean, they'll probably do 10 wounds, but. You never know. You never know. <laughs> Yeah, you can't judge for us. Ten. There you go. Yeah, ten hits. Nine wounds. Nine that wounds. Is no. Is that no that's um, last twenty one or is last twenty two? Twenty one. Oh box twice. Yeah. Is he within that token? Oh. Um yeah, yeah I mean just, it is yeah. technically touching. Just barely. He would have to yeah, remember so. to actually burn it though. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's another thing. All right, go go zombies. Four wounds. That's respectable. 
for zombies. Yeah, yeah. Well done, boys. Yeah. Double six. Happy days. Twice. <laughs> oh no, they can. Uh, they waver, don't they? Yeah, fury, don't they? So yeah. Oh, so it doesn't matter. I guess, oh, well. I guess it protects the sorry, is there? Uh, yeah, it does. That would that would protect them from that port screw. Was he not gonna do a check? Not gonna not gonna bother rolling. Okay. Yeah. So he's gonna be looking for fives. That's gonna be no hits on the planer. Okay, that hurts a little bit. Yeah. I wonder if the, if the trolls, when they back up, uh, they will have line of sight of the to the soul rivers. I don't know. Who are these butchers? Yeah, uh, the, the butchers that with the four wounds. Yeah, they they will. I'm pretty sure when they back up an edge, they'll be able to see. Ooh. Yeah. All right. The uh, other zombie trolls counter charging. Do three wounds, but I'm not gonna get them. What are we doing here? Something with 18 attacks. Oh, uh, pitches at top. Probably the whites, yeah. Yep. Nine and eight. That should get them, right? Yeah. Yep. With brutal. With brutal, yep. We'll just get them. Ah, oh, that's bad for Koke. <laughs> that is, that is. Because now they can turn to see the uh, all the all the screeches. Yeah, we'll just have to line in bolt and go with uh, <laughs> yeah. Shira. Yeah. yeah, that's true. Even without fly, she got to get in there. Uh, it's not that bad for Koga because he he just turns the pine creeps, line in bolt, then enter the Shira, and and should that should get rid of them. Is that, uh, that he, okay? He has not picked them up. Oh, he was oh, okay. He was doing the other whites. Right. Okay. Uh, ah, so that. Okay. That'll definitely pick it up. Um, right. Hopefully he remembers to life leech one back. There he goes. Good job there. And we'll see where he goes next. He might do the rev cav on the character, or he might do the other whites on the butchers. Yeah, putting it there so he can just see the phantoms, although it's easy to move the phantoms. Uh, but did the phantoms can't see the charge. Did he kill the inspiring one or the normal one? Uh, I think that was the inspiring one. Yeah, he killed the inspiring one. All right, Revcav on Insanishra. Uh, ten hits, four wounds. She's what dash thirteen, so yeah, I think so. Is she uh, got inspiring nearby. My test. Um, three, six, nine. Uh, it's yeah, nine. Okay. Is it nine inches or twelve inches? It's twelve. Twelve. Then she is. She is just inspired by that red king. I think it's nine inches now. Is it nine? It was, it's on. I think. I think it was twelve in second, but now it's nine. I'm not sure. Right there's the uh, on the care on the. Um, Army list that still says twelve. So okay, it's twelve. All right, so there's 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 the same nine yeah. same nine same. wounds again. Yeah. Plus brutal. Waiting for the nerve check to see if we can do it again. Five. Oh. Yeah. That's enough to waver, but they have fury, so yeah. I don't think that's a waiver, is it? That's 15 in total. Brutal. Is it only 15? Oh, it is only yeah. Yep, so it's not even a waiver. Yeah, it can do what he likes. Well, within reason. Yep. Sure. It was a very soft uh, very soft uh, nerf on the butchers when they, they were fearless before. Now they are fury with, uh, not fearless, but with fury. Mm. Because they have defense 5 and stealthy, so they're not going to be easily yeah. wavered mm -hmm. shooting. Exactly, yeah. It's yeah. basically the same, isn't it? All right, and here comes here the go. corkscrew charge into the soul reavers. 
Uh, yes. That, those are Pathfinder butchers, so mm -hmm. they're not going to care. And I think they're currently on the spot as well. And he's gonna he's gonna try to put the planer in the flank first. Cool. Yeah. Since. Ooh. Does the planer fly? It doesn't. Oh, but it's nimble. Okay. Yeah. Yep. That's. Yeah, you can touch the corner like that. There's the. Yep. Wow. Uh, so that'll be eight attacks on fours. And fours. <coughs> But every little bit helps. What's the base attack of the planer? <coughs> four, uh, uh, hits on threes, four attacks. Yeah. And does not have Pathfinder. And doesn't fly. So even if the zombie trolls had done a wound, it still wouldn't have stopped it from just running around them. That's true. I always want the planar apparition to fly for some reason. In, in my yeah, mind, I was with it you. Flies. I was thinking <laughs> it does fly, but it doesn't. Nope. All right, so that is going to be a really bad spot for those soul reavers to be in. Um, meanwhile, up top, uh, Justin still hasn't burned that token that his whites and rev cav are on. Oh, I got the one under the uh, mummies, eh? Oh, I did get the one of the mummies. Good. I okay. wonder why he's not got that one on top. Maybe they decided that the cavern is out. I don't know. I might have to ask them that at the end of the game. I mean, he should still win that anyway, so it should be a problem there. Yeah. I mean, unless unless the butchers do well this turn. Which they, they could do. They could yeah. easily. And then he might see the, the cavs just sidestepping or something. Yeah. Yeah, I think the cab is within three, so we should have plenty over there. Um, is this turn four? Um, yes. Or is this Coke? No, no, this is bottom of turn three. Yeah, Justin began. Yeah, Justin went first. So we are on the bottom of turn three here. It's like he's going for those soul reavers. Trying to. Yeah. Trying to trying to get clean shots on them. Yeah. Because I feel like those butchers with the planer in the flank ought to pick up the soul reavers in the woods. Even if they don't, those soul reavers aren't in a great position. Yeah, no. no. Um, yeah, like so I say, just a high nerve will do it. They're not inspired, so. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I feel like, so right now, Justin is still going to have more unit strength in the middle because he's still got that other zombie horde. Oh, yeah. Um, and the mummies. Um, so I think they're, they're going to be able to grind out those scarecrows and probably take care of that butcher Board that's already got four wounds on it and hold the middle. Um, oh, and it looks like Justin did finally pick up that okay. token on the whites. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> so he's he's got two, so he's two one, two two one, two, uh, two to one. Yeah. Like Mike was saying, the middle looks good for Justin at the moment. At the moment, Justin Justin's gonna need to pick up some more of the units. Of cookies over here on the right, uh, or just keep grinding on them all game. Um, yeah. Because at, at this point, I don't really see. Well, I guess. So oh, the charges in the flank. That's interesting. Oh, that is interesting. Oh yeah, yeah, because they slid over mm. uh, to hit the butchers, and that would put them in the flank. That thing is bye bye for the zombie horde. So, um, probably. I don't know what they have to still? Yeah, I question I don't, that. Think, I don't remember the initial position. I don't know if it's hindered or not. So, the planer healed the butchers that are fighting the whites up in the top right corner. Nice. Uh, and now it looks like the screeches are going to shoot at some soul reavers, the ones that are in the open. 
Yes. So one hit, but no wounds for the first one. Two wounds from the second one. And third one, same target. Only one hit. So the soldier should be fine this turn. One more wound, that's three, but uh, he'll need a need a 12 to waver. Yeah, no um, mind fuck today. Yeah. Yeah, no, I think I think healing those butchers was a better call. Definitely. Yeah, 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 definitely. <laughs> yeah. Um, Yes, because even if they if they kill the whites, maybe they need some wounds just in case the revenant cavalry hits them because mm -hmm. with already nine wounds could be. I mean, hit and fours. Whites are hard to get rid of. It swings so hard though. Seven. That's going to put the whites up to ten. There we go. Eleven hits is pretty good. Uh, ten, so eleven with dread. And so dread, he needs so six. That'll get him. Mind. I'll get them. Nothing inspiring nearby. So I guess it's good that he finally picked up that token. Yeah. <laughs> Why do you remember? <laughs> now it's got a nice juicy flank to look at. Yep. Did he use the boots already? I assume he did. I assume no. he did because he's on the fence. Oh, yeah, with the... Or maybe he didn't. I'm not sure. I never know. Did he counter charge? Did the whites charge first or butchers charge first? No, the whites charge the first. other ones. The whites yeah, charge yeah, the other ones first yeah, and pop yeah, yeah. them. And then, yeah. That's right. So they probably already used it. Uh, those rev calves should be fine. Yeah. Slash 17 is very tough for a five yeah. attack to get rid of. Because, oh, Whipper hurt. does four wounds <laughs> on these whites. All right, that's going to put them up at nine. That put that definitely puts them in danger. Uh, seven won't get him unless he's brutal. No, and there's no dread nearby. Don't think it's any rushing range. I don't think so. Three, yeah, no, she's out by half an inch. So they ought to be okay. Uh, so over to scarecrows beating up on some zombie trolls. 11 hits, three wounds. That'll be okay. I think those guys are dash 14. Yeah. 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 So it's going to need 11 twice. So they ought to hold. Yes. Hmm. They're not in danger. Yeah. No. I thought those Mind Screech uh, icon, so the, the 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 miniature he's using was like a crying skull, but then I I, I see it and it's a sorcerer. But I thought yeah. it was a like crying skull. For it does <laughs> look like that. Hand, just like a handlebar mustache. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do that too. Uh, all right, just a couple of combats left. Okay, sixty dice. Oh, what's going on? Double checking to make sure this was a flank charge. Or... They if are it was flank. hindered, maybe. Double checking yeah. if it was hindered because if he had hindered. To... Uh, they started by touching the woods, maybe. Okay, so not hindered. I didn't think they were. Um, still hit on fives. Okay, 19 hits. Oh, on that's, that's good. Well, it's wow. 60 dice. That's amazing. <clears throat> That's, that's going to be snakes oh, twice, yeah. and that'll be all for the zombies. Um, so yes. now certainly these scarecrows will turn around to face face the mummies. Yeah, definitely. And try to, to try, to, yeah. try to not try be to avoid the, 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 the line of sight of the zombies. Yep. And it looks like he did move the phantoms back just out of 21 inches from the vampire. So Exactly. Still no you, could ask, you could ask the vampire to come and commentate with us. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just leave the horse there. Just come have a chat. Right. Nine hits. Eight wounds. Hits them on a total of 
what, 12? 12. Is it up there? Yeah. Yeah. They're gone. Yeah, six plus red. That's massive. That is. <clears throat> oh, man. That's <sighs> rough. If only he'd left them back behind the zombie troll screen another yes. half yes. an inch or so. You... Yeah, that's well played by Coco. Okay. Yeah. So what do you do with those butchers? You do, well, I mean, I guess you turn them to look at the backs of some zombie trolls and the flank of some soul reavers. I think um, I will probably advance the operation first because if not, uh, uh, Justin could just Turn 100 degrees the, the zombie trolls and then search them. Yeah. And he will block the butchers also. All right. It's a pretty solid, solid turn uh, for Koke here. Yes. Yes. Getting the whites and the soul rivers is big. Yeah. Once the soul rivers. And one of the zombie hordes takes a lot of his uh, unit strength out of the middle. Yes, the other the other white horde is heavily damaged, and he's in a good position now. All right, so moving into top of four, bottom half of the game. Um, what does Justin need to do? He's got to definitely claim that middle token as soon as he can. I mean, he's got to hold it still, but I'd be wanting to say, "This is mine," you know, "Come get me." Um, on the right flank, it's it's got a lot of work to do. He's pretty blocked at the moment. Now maybe he can see the scarecrow horde and he can charge. If he can, if he can, like I said, turn around this zombie troll regiment on the left mm -hmm. and search them into the planner apparition. That will probably block the the butcher hordes from killing the soul rivers, and he can advance the other soul rivers. But then he loses the token because he's protecting this token with the very expensive units, and the phantoms will go and get it. The very soul yeah. leaves that. Yeah. He'll probably have to use the Roman and King to ground those phantoms, try and ground them, because if not, he has a problem with the phantoms in the back. Yep. Very that tough spot. I that don't know what be a terrible play. Yeah, I think that's a good shout. I'm not sure what these Bell Reavers can even do this turn. They're still. Maybe. I think maybe one play. If you know you have that lost, uh, maybe try to delay so Koke cannot take this, this token and go get the middle. Yeah. Yeah, he's got to put a lot of folks into the middle. So he's gone for the scarecrows. Looks like we're trying to go all in on some scarecrows. I think he's throwing away that charge just so the soul reavers can get him. I guess, yeah. I mean, that's generally all you need. Yeah, let's be fair. Ah, that's a good move. Yeah, because the, the zombie trolls still protect the flank of the Soul Reavers well enough, I think. I guess the planer could nimble his way around, but I don't think the butchers are going to get into them. No, the butchers, I don't think we'll get them. Yeah, but the butchers will look at... Well, no, I mean, you're... Hopefully hopefully you pop a Scarecrow Horde and so the, the zombie trolls can that, that are in their flight can turn around and give you a front. Um, but then you got Mind Screeches behind you. We have five attacks and Pathfinder. But also have Lightning Bolt. <laughs> Just for fun. Is the um, top right Butcher Horde, is that within 12 of the Soul Reavers for next turn? Uh, yep. They are, yeah. Yep. And it looks like he has sent the Rev King into the Phantoms to ground them. Yes, if you have to. Yep. I think he just avoided the fence, right? Yeah, looks like it. From the angle he was coming in on, should put him in the clear. Um, there's only those are only three attacks, right? Three attacks on threes with pressure yes. one. 
The only three. thing is the Phantoms have defense four. They don't have big defense. But with, um, I think with versus a defense five enemy, uh, the Roman King has only forty or thirty percent of of doing of doing zero wounds. So yeah, that's a big. I if I have Revenant Kings, I most of the time pay the Blade of Slashing or, or Mace of Crushing. Yeah. Mm. Only problem is though, if these phantoms survive, they should. And if they get disordered, then there's pretty much no search at all on that side of the uh, table because the other guy's going to be way out of range. Yeah. He's moving the zombies so he can search them. I think. Yeah. I don't think you're going to need it, but might as well. I mean, you really want to get rid of them this turn so you can. You really just want to free up the mummies, right? Like you would like the mummies yeah. to be able to, to punch some butchers or something. And you would sure. like the zombies to just sit on the center token for the for the bottom half of the game and be fine. Um, and you would love if like mind screeches were throwing lightning bolts at a zombie horde instead of shooting at soul reavers or white. <laughs> I don't think you can get their ninety pivot though. Uh, I don't think you can. Not this turn. And they're going to end up on the fence pretty much however they turn. So you hit the on sixes. Have a natural, do the zombies have a... Oh, if they had a natural line of sight, he could surge the mummies instead. Yeah, yeah, but they didn't. So he's stuck with he's stuck with this. One inch surge. All right, so he really needs <coughs> he needs to ground the phantoms. He needs to pop the scarecrows on the right. He needs to get rid of the butcher flesh ripper that's holding up his whites. He needs to get in Sinitra off of his rev cav. And the peck <laughs> needs to just <laughs> right. yeah do something. I don't know. <laughs> and it would be and and it would be nice if he could pick up those. Uh, those scarecrows in the middle. So, so basically, Justin is in a position of really, really kind of needing to win every combat he's in. Yes. We got some such. Yeah, I can see. Yeah, that's fine. So there'll be a hindered front charge from the zombies. I think there are about 30 attacks. 25. 25? 25. That's right. They lost some attacks between second and third. Yep. Not like the Scarecrows. The Scarecrows didn't lose anything. Was that a flank charge he searched into there? Could no. be, yep. I don't know. If, yeah, if looks the right. leader yeah. point was in the flank, yeah, could be. Yeah, I'm not sure. No, I don't no. think so. But could, I don't know. Yep. Could be. Uh, so here come the zombies looking for sixes, four hits, and then looking for what, twos? And scarecrows or threes? Please. Scarecrows are three. Uh, so a couple of wounds from the zombies. And now the mummies, where you really expect. So Ooh. it looks like the, the, the new OP stuff is better than the old OP stuff. Three wins. <laughs> three more wounds. All right, so that's 14. So seven twice. Yep. Yeah. That's... That is once. Oh. Wow. Uh, <laughs> Just gonna take another round. Uh, off by one. Yeah, those uh, hits from the mummies. That's where he needed it. Yeah, there, there you go with fours again. <laughs> Swingy fours. Yeah, that may or may may or may not was supposed to be a flank from the zombies. Um, they may have done a single more wound. All right, so here's some zombie trolls hindered in the flank. Uh, they're gonna do five, pretty good. Yep. For a hindered, oh, that should be it. And then soul reavers. The means machine. Yeah, These are the elite well. ones, aren't they? The elite as well, yeah. Uh, and that's good because he rolled what six ones, yeah. seven ones. <laughs> seven, I think, yeah. Yeah, seven ones. Picks up five more. Okay. Nice. Now we're back to 18 hits where they should have been in the first place. And then twos. <laughs> okay, so 17 wounds, fine. 
<laughs> so that'll put them on snakes. That'll life leech the yep, vampires down to one. Life leech two. Yeah, amazing. And there might not be any inspiring nearby. Oh, yeah, because the Rev King ran away. On somebody yep. else. Okay. There we go. And the Flesh Reaper inspiring is dead. Yep. And so here you what, walk the uh, Soul Reavers forward so that nothing can fit in that little flank nub that you're showing. If you go forward, maybe the some the butchers up can. Yeah, be worried about the boot. flag. Oh, you're right. Yeah, three, six, nine, twelve. Yeah, yeah, I mean they're in range now, and they might be in the flank. So maybe, maybe uh, if he turns, maybe just on the hill, <coughs> might be able to hide his line of sight. Maybe just go backwards. I don't know. Yeah, I can't tell if they'll. I think, I think they'll probably have line of sight. I probably would have would have done the whites combat first, so I can yep. get rid of the whites and then go back. So maybe I can get out of charge range of the butchers or out of line of sight because the hill is blocking the way. Yeah, the hill is yep. an issue. Yeah. All right. He's so he's turned. He's turned around the, the zombie trolls. Uh, okay. He's turned. He's turned around the zombie trolls like you kind of expected him to. Um, given flanks and rears to a bunch of mind screeches, but. I think if I think if Mind Screeches charge a zombie troll regiment instead of lightning bolting your soul reavers, you're you're okay with that. Yeah. I think you don't have to back up much the the soul reavers to get out of line of sight of the flesh of the butchers. I don't think you do. It looks pretty close. I think one inch will just get them out of sight if they are if if they are if they are right now, because maybe they're not. Yeah. yeah, they may be safe where they are. Oh, here we go. Gonna check. Oh, he's checking. Oh, yeah, Justin. Just, Justin. So even if he backs up an inch and doesn't get the full inch, it should be okay. Depends what he wants. He might want to. He can get, as I see now, he can get a full inch. Yep, before he hits the whites, yeah. So that should be easy. All right, sure, sure. Thanks, check so. to see if you can turn. No. Yeah, there's my screeches there. Yeah, you have the mind screeches also. <laughs> yeah. What did they, they do? Have five attacks or something like that? Five. Yeah, they got five attacks. You should be able to hit three of them in there as well if you wanted to, right? Because if you get three mind screeches on the flank, that would be thirty attacks. Oh yeah. Yeah. Hit on hit on fours, with no crushing or thunders or anything. So yeah, there's your one inch backup. Yeah. And just know you're gonna get it. Well, you you'll get a hindered planar apparition in your flank, but that's not so bad. That's 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 way better than getting butchers. Oh yes. In your front. Yeah, He's still checking. Can you sidestep and get out? No, you can't sidestep far enough to get out, and then you might touch the hill. And he could see you anyway. So yeah, backing up seems like yeah, it's the only option really. Yeah, because because he just needs the inch, and you'll back up at least an inch. He can't change face because of the uh, zombies, yeah. and he exposing a rear to the kind of apparition. Yeah. I wonder what I wonder know what's going on in his, his mind. Oh, here we go. Uh -huh. So it looks like he's going to check to see if there's any way for the butchers to get around the zombie trolls to hit him if he backs up. I would guess. I don't think the zombie trolls can. Ah, if he backs up, okay. I don't think either. If he moves, yeah. the... no, okay. No. The planer being nimble certainly can pivot once, walk out of the woods and pivot again to hit them. Um, all right, so there's his backup roll. He gets at least one inch, he backs all the way up and bumps his whites, and he's out of line of sight. Yep, that to be done with And the zombie trolls here facing front are out of 12 of those butchers, so... They're done. All right, looks like he's moving on to 
Rev King gets two hits, looking for threes to ground these phantoms, gets the one. Gets the one and puts them on the ground, which is really all he wanted. Yeah. And Snake Eyes. <laughs> Get rid of it now. <laughs> yeah. All right. He should be winning this one, I imagine. Should. He just needs to do enough. That's going to be 10 wounds on a... Yeah. A three, two. Dash 14. Yeah, plus Brutal, so... That would do it still. Uh, needs one more, though. Because the Rev King is still within 12. Yep, that'll do it. That will do it. Wounded Whites. Wounded Whites. Eight wounds on them. They're dash 17. They're already looking at a nine. Um, on the hill? Yeah. yeah, you better get agreement that that's not on the hill. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You better shoot. Because I'd, if at that point, I think I would rather let the Whites be the target of the Mind Screech yeah. than just get charged by another thing and then the mind screech can shoot other stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Yeah. He's just got to leave them where they are. Yep. And from there he can see two mind screeches and a planar apparition to charge. Yeah, he's got options as well. I mean if he still had the surge he might be able to do something next turn, but it depends if the king takes a wound or not. Yeah. So those phantoms, phantom troop is 12 attacks and on fours. Uh, they'd be wounding on fives against that rev king. Dash 14. Good uh, Good. Be, interesting, be interesting to see because at this point like he sort of committed that rev king to holding them the whole game yeah, yeah definitely it's gonna be a grindy one uh, all right or he's just walked the whites forward to say wow. hell with it come get me okay. i'm not sure they'll survive <laughs> well i guess he's he's hoping that uh, the rev cab will pick up the character and then he'll be able to kind of turn them as well and say you can you can only pick one, you know. That's four wounds. Wow. So puts her up at eight. Five, I think. And she's, she's five. Yeah, dash 13. Yep. Dash 13 twice, probably. Twice? I don't think so. Yeah, eight, just. Six, nine, 12, yeah, twice. Oh, yeah. No, but he That's... gets her anyway. She did pretty well, though. Yep. In a job. Um, but, uh, you yeah, know, I think, I think you're right, Luis. I think I... I would have done these three combats in exactly the opposite order. I would have done the ref cap first, um, <laughs> maybe, to, to see if they were they were freed up, so so that I'd know whether walking the whites forward would be too risky or not, and uh, and that would have gotten them out of the way of the soul reavers. But I guess you, yes. you didn't really want the soul reavers to, to risk backing up too much because then the butchers might be able to tag them in the flank. So. Butter. But I mean, Justin had so many things to think this turn that it's easy that small things like that escape yeah. to you. I was he had, a, had a lot of calls to do. Yeah. yeah. When you get to the inspiring source at the end, you think, oh, why didn't I do that one first? All right. So of the things we said he really needed to do this turn, it looks like he did all of them except picking up the scarecrows in the middle. And I don't think they're going to survive for very long. Um, yeah, it's looking okay. We're over to the bottom of turn four. Still two one untaken, so now. What is Kake going to do? Oh, move up oh, the phantoms. Hold on. Full charge. The MVP phantoms. Yep. <laughs> yeah. And in the middle, <laughs> is he going to counter charge the mummies? He's counter charging the Zombos. I mean, I feel like no, no matter what you do, you lose that unit next turn. Yes, definitely. 
And you cannot kill either of those units. You can't. And mummies regenerate on a five up. Yeah. Mm. I mean, he could, if he was thinking about it, that he may survive, charge the mummy so that the, the zombies are hindered. Not that makes much difference, but. In that yeah. case, if I know I'm going to lose them anyways, I will probably charge the zombies because that left the zombies and the mummies farther away from the center token. When they, yeah, when they charge you. Yeah. But. And at least you yeah. can be sure that the wounds you put on the zombies will stick because it doesn't <coughs> have any heal in the list and they don't regen. Yep. Yeah. Interesting. So he's trying to get rid of the Revcav with the Butchers instead of the Whites. So he'll be trying to Lightning Bolt the Whites, I guess, but that'll leave the Soul Reavers open. But I guess he's probably going to send that other planer in the woods into the flank of the Soul Reavers anyway, so he wouldn't be able to charge them. Or, excuse me, he wouldn't be able to Lightning Bolt them. Yeah, I guess charging the Whites there, your position is going to be great afterwards. Both yeah. flanks on either side, so yeah, that's a good call. Yeah. Yep. Is, Especially the wounded as well. Is she going to mindfuck the soul reavers, or is she going to heal again the butchers? I feel like I would heal the butchers. Uh, I think the planer is going to want that block the... Oh, he, he hasn't moved that back mind screech yet, has he? No, no I don't think so. All right, well, he's not really... He didn't really but position the first, the first mind screech. The first mind screech has no, no line of sight to the white. Yeah. So he's going to shoot something oh, else. Well, no, he just barely clips them. Oh, yep, yeah, you're right. Yeah, that's barely, okay. All right. And over here, I guess he's got his option with the planer whether he wants to heal or uh, or mind fog. So I guess he can see how the how the lightning bolts go and then yeah. decide. Yeah, that's good. If he needs that yeah. one more. <coughs> first things first, and then you decide. Yeah. yeah. I mean, even just one lightning bolt, one mind fog, there's a good chance those whites aren't going to live. Yeah. I'm not sure they're inspired either. I don't think they are. Uh, let me check. Three sets, they are not. No, just for one inch. Oh, that's interesting. He's not sending the planer into okay. the soul reverse, so he's probably going to flank the zombie troll regiment. Yeah, that's what's up. He must be shooting the soul. Oh. Nope. You know what he's doing? Yeah, he's going for the flank. Yeah, I think the top ones hang over a little bit, so he should really be further down, but. Whatever. Uh, all right. Shooting, starting with the plane here. Okay, so he's going to start with heal okay. on the butchers, fighting the rev cav over on the far right. Um, five. Five. Nice. Wow, that's that is really good. That's good. Five out of seven on fours. Take that. Ooh, one. Just the one hit. One wound though. Puts him up to nine. I guess he can mind fuck with the other planner operation now he's not charging the yeah the sure. soul reavers. Yeah, that's right. Oh. Four hits. The second one, only one wound. That puts him up to ten though, so currently looking at seven once to get them. Or a six with dread. Oh yeah, he doesn't need to mind fuck because the planner also already gives you dread. Yeah, he's already doing something useful. It's like two no, more wounds. Not. So it puts him on 12. Yeah, he needs a 4. Yep. And looks like he's probably going to heal the other butchers instead of bothering the mind fog, which at this point I think is probably the right call. And picks up 3. That's really good. Um, and just looking for a 4 once. And there's an 11. Wow. So picks up didn't even need the light, so. Not even sweating. All right, so on to combat. Let's see what these butchers do against the Rev Cab. I 
Average hits. So five. Yep. Four. They'll be okay. Yeah, they're pretty fine. But they, oh, they might be out of line of sight of the Soul Reavers, though. That's oh, close. I don't know. In or out for a pixel. Yeah, super close. Yeah. Phantoms do two root, two wounds looks like to the Rev King. And a three. You'll be okay. He did die. Just disorder him. Yeah. Okay. Butcher's in the flank with Pathfinder. 11 wounds. Uh, 11 wounds on three. Guys. Puts them on yeah, snakes. Anyway. Snakes once. Hmm. All right. A good pickups there. Was he the sidestep or face? Yeah, I wouldn't be. I wouldn't be terribly uh, scared of uh, regiment of zombie trolls. They'll be hindered, hit on fives. Yeah, but he turned to the front. Yeah, but and why? Why risk it? Why? No. Why risk it at this point? Yeah, you got a right really good position. Yeah. Um, two wounds on the mummies. And there's no way to get them with that. No. All right, so that's going to bring us to Justin's turn five. Top of five. Um, oh, he didn't move the phantoms. Uh, yeah, he thought about it. Was, he, uh, he put them back, yeah. Man. Left him, left him out of 21. <laughs> because they're they're worth more keeping a vampire in place. Yes, exactly. Anything else? All right, so that is going to bring us to the top of five. Um, Justin will probably pick up those uh, scarecrows in the middle this turn. Yes. I'm guessing. Yeah. Unless yes. uh, unless unless double ones or something like that. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> But he's kind of in trouble over here on the left side now. He has a lot of targets in front of him and just Soul Reaver infantry. So he can definitely kill one, but there's four of them. Yeah. Um, he has five possible targets. If I don't know if he's inside of these butchers, but, but yeah. Even if he was to chow through one at a time. No, he's out. He's, he's out for just to, uh, barely out. Anyway. Yeah. So of your options over here, I mean, there's a planar apparition, but it's got ensnare. You can kill mind screeches, but he can just feed you those things one at a time for the rest of the game to keep you off that token. Okay. Uh, the time he feeds one, uh, I think other key uh, key thing is can be because the I think the Reverend Cavalry will not hold another turn of butchers. I don't think they will. Either. And and then the butchers will turn around and kill your soul rivers. Or the other butchers. What is yeah, he those... doing? Ah, he's planning to search. Yeah, I think he's going for a search on the mind screech. And yeah, charge the planner know. operation. You charge the planner operation. You mm. waiting for a lucky search and kill a mind screech. And oh, you don't need to kill it uh, if you if you get uh, those two units in three inch range of that token, you can burn it. Yeah. Yeah, so if you pop the planer and overrun enough, yep. you can maybe get it. Maybe, maybe the elite will make up for the ensnare. What's the maybe. nerve on the uh, planer? I think thirteen fifteen. I don't know. Let me check. Uh, it is thirteen fifteen, and it's defense three. So like you're gonna, you're definitely gonna punch the hell yeah. out of it. Um, All right, so you, going you need to, to you need to go forward at least defense. an inch, and you've got. An inch and a half until you hit the next guy. So yeah, you can. Cool, Twenty-five cause... attacks on with elite. Yeah, that should do at least twelve wounds. Twelve yeah. wounds average uh, should get it. You gotta go for it. I mean, we're turn five. And Anything even if you lose, even if you lose, if you can get that token, you get a bonus point. So it's not a bad play. Yep. I was just thinking that the other token now is just easy to pick up. So it's like a token for a token, really. If right. he 
fix this token, uh, Koke is going to turn everything around to go for the middle. If not, he's not getting it. So it looks like if he's going for this lower mind screech, he's going to need two search successes. Uh, this is a regen roll on the mummies. He picks up one there to bring them down to one wound. And we'll be looking for two fours on five dice for the surge. Kind of big, because if he doesn't get it, that Mind Screech will just walk forward and get that token next turn. Even if he does get it, it could still potentially do that. And he's cool. going to miss it. Yes. Uh, I've, yeah. As a player on there, uh, I think these two in searches with just five or six stats fail more often than people think. Oh, yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think with six dice is one each eight or ten times. I'm not sure with with five dice. To be fair to him, though, he has to go for that sort of thing. This part of the that, game. This is this is big for Koke. If if yeah. he get that token, he was in trouble. Things I think as well. If Koke gets this token, I'm not sure if he's getting the middle still. So I think it's still very close. Six wounds on the scarecrows from the uh, mummies. And now hindered flank from zombies. Looking for sixes, 16 hits. All right. Nice. Fine. And 13 wounds, or excuse me, nine wounds at defense three. That'll put them on snakes twice. All right. Okay. So that, that, that pretty handily gives Justin the middle, but he can't really can't really do much with those units. I mean, I guess he could rear charge something with mummies and leave the zombies to hold the token. Yep. Um, but mummies, yeah. but yeah. if they if they turn around, the mummies in the front aren't aren't going to do a whole lot running into the woods, um, other than keep him stuck in the woods for a few turns. And in turn five, it's possible that he'll hold them for the rest of the game. Yes, yes, he's a Spanish player. Spanish player from Madrid. I I played him once on real life on a tournament, and I have played him several times in UB. Um, he's also. Uh, uh, content creator for the channel of Snake Eyes. They do battle reports and they do videos commenting armies and reviews on several stuff. Is that five or six elite? Five. Fourteen, yeah, four, four, fourteen hits. Yeah, only picks up one on the elite. That's still fifteen. Three, it's pretty good. And wounding on twos, so twelve. That's still snakes. Thirteen, fifteen. Mm -hmm. Yep. So the Soul Reavers one shot the planer. Um, but since all three mind screeches are in range of the token, the best uh, he can yeah. do is contest it at this point. So he can't pick up that token this turn. Yeah, great positioning. Yep. Yeah, but if they don't die, they will pick it up next turn. Yeah. So Koke really needs this lightning balls work for him. <laughs> yeah. I mean, those zombies can be, if they just charge, they'll get in as well. The zombie charge, sorry. Sure, sure, yeah. All right, Revcab disordered into the front of some butchers that got healed back down to one wound. Yeah. Uh, don't really expect them to do a whole lot. Uh, 
uh, waiting to see what he gets here. I think maybe Cock is regretting uh, this butcher hard on the left on the forest, the Pathfinder one, uh, turning him away to the right flank instead of of keeping up with the with the scarecrows to hold the middle. <coughs> that maybe is going to be determining for the game. Four four total wounds and an eight roll for nerve. Those butchers are going to be fine. Uh, and that is going to bring us to, I believe, bottom of five. Or, no, we still got to do grounding yeah. phantoms. Two hits again, and no wounds. So now they can fly because they wow. have no disorder. So that is going to open them up. They can easily go get that token now. Uh, and he doesn't even have to use one of the mind screeches to do it. So all right. he'll, get all, he'll get all three lightning bolts. Cool. Are they in range of the vampires? Not the phantoms? Yes. Yes, 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 totally. Oh, Richard. That's 36 attacks. <coughs> yeah, not bad. Whatever Five. the mind screws can combine. Yeah. What are these phantoms going to do? Uh, yeah, and no, I think, uh, Ooh, think Cook, yeah, forgot about it. The oh, yeah. sure. He can easily push yeah. whatever unit strength Justin has in the middle out of the way in the last turn. That's why yes, I spell yes, yes. gets there, don't you? And then last minute, yeah, change the game. Yeah, yes. good call. If if I will, if if I were Justin playing right now, I would completely have forgotten about Wind Blast, and then in turn six, I would be oh shit. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> because I totally forget now. Yeah, yep. so, yeah. Uh, all right, yeah. so he yeah. moved, he moved the mind screech down, so that probably means we're going to see a rear charge on some soul reavers. I would guess. Yes. Just thinking about it. You still need to maybe just face the zombie trolls. You still need to to end blocking them. What are the attacks are the um? Mind Screech in melee. It's a four. Uh, 12 on fours, I think. 12. 12? 12 phantoms, yeah. 12 oh, attacks. Ah, five. phantoms. Uh, mind, I thought mind screech. screech. Oh, the Mind Screech. Oh, they're five attacks. Okay. On fours. Crashing so, something? Uh, no. Just yeah. fours. Just fours. So fours and fives against either zombie trolls or soul reavers. I guess he's hesitant to move one of the mind screeches because he needs that unit strength there as well. I think Koke okay, should start thinking, turning around this planner operation and going to the middle. Yeah. Because those units aren't going to chew through an ensnarer in no, the forest. No. And on fives or sixes. Yeah. Worse, yeah. And they're not really fast enough to get into your flank. And get surged. To be fair, as well, I remember Justin mentioning those zombie trolls um, regiment. Their unit strength two as well. So he, yeah, yeah. he yeah, I remember him saying he prefers them for that reason. So if they can get in that token range, it might get him to clear it and claim it. Yeah. If these guys survive. Yeah, I think I think Pathfinder butchers in the rear is probably going to take care of those zombie trolls. Oh, right. Yeah. Seriously, didn't even see that. Yeah, not, not not inspired, so that will likely just be snakes. Oh, yeah, 100%. Yep. All right. So, Koke may or may not tie it up this round by picking up that bottom token, but if not this round, certainly next round, you'll be able to. Um, and then it's just going to come down to a fight in the middle. And turn six for who can get more unit strength on that token. Is Koken not charging with the other Mind Screech? No, I don't think he is. Seems weird. There's not really anything else to shoot at. Uh, looks like he's wind blasting, but they're back, but the 
Mummies are backstop against the zombies anyway, unless he's lightning bolting them. Uh, it doesn't matter. It's, they're going to charge the apparition anyways. Yeah. All right, so he didn't do anything with the other two mind screeches. Okay. And he's moving on to combat. Hope he didn't I mean, didn't first not forget. Five attacks on force is not much, but he could do one wound. That could mean the difference. Okay. All right, so he picks up the rev cav. Um, yeah, but if he wasn't going to do anything with this mind screech in the middle, he should have walked down and picked up the token this turn, you know, instead of leaving it till next turn. I feel like maybe that, maybe that mind screech just to block uh, the zombie trolls. But just in case, uh, yeah, maybe the one who is in front of the of the sorrows, I, I don't understand. I think he's keeping them there for unit strength in case the uh, sorrows don't die. But the sorrows are going to walk through <laughs> the next turn if they live. All right, so here's the uh, phantoms in the rear. <coughs> Twenty hits and looking at. Wait, what? Two two wounds and an 11 is a 13. They're fine. Yeah. Wow. If that Mind Screech had done two wounds, <laughs> they would right. be wavered. Wow. 20 hits and only two wounds on a five. Oof. Yeah. Ooh. Oh. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, there we go. I guess this means uh, uh, Justin is getting that, that token. Yeah. Yeah, he'll play off with something there. I mean, the one in front. Get the token. Yep, we'll get the token and then die to getting charged by butchers, but it won't really matter. Because it'll be turn six, and you'll have more points. All right, so that brings us to top of six. Here we go. So what do you think Coke needs to do? Oh, Justin, sorry. Uh, he's probably going to charge the butchers with the king. So keeps him there. Uh, the ones with four? Uh, no, I mean the other king. The, the other, oh, these the other guys. King. Okay. But it will be hinder and he's on force and force, so maybe he will not do one wound. And yeah. then he has to multi charge the planar apparition to get into the middle. Uh -huh. and, and, and charge the mind screech and get rid of that token. Yeah. If he does yeah. that, he, you either win or you either draw. Yep. You cannot lose because of that MVP vampire. Yeah, yeah. This is a, I don't see a, a win possible for KK at the moment because of the vamp. If he had killed the Soul Rivers, Koke could go, go for a win. Uh -huh. But uh, at this stage, he can only go for a draw. I think it's his best choice. Still a lot to go through in the middle as well for him. Um, yeah. A lot of nerve. Unless he uses the wind blast idea. Yeah. Or he could advance the phantom and then, if there's a seven, charge the vampire on Pegasus and go for an epic win <laughs> with the phantoms. <laughs> yeah. A Hail Mary charge, something like that. Yeah. Mm. Interesting. Is it not double? Oh, he he could just be walking forward and using the zombies to backstop the mummy, so he so he can't be yeah. wind blasted off. Yeah, nice. They still should be contesting it. Yeah, because it's not like the because the zombies would be hitting on what half attack half attacks on sixes, or does oh, not yeah. or, or does that yeah, not happen yeah, yeah, with yeah, melee yeah. attacks? Do you not cut melee and half uh, attack attacks in half? Sure, D sevens. But yeah. if but uh, Koke only needs to win blast the zombies because if he gets the butcher in, they will have more unit strength combined than the mummies. Yep. If he backs the zombies. Yep. But he has put the Rev King in the yeah, way of the, the butcher now. 
So yes. he's gonna have to kill kill them and overrun. He has to do um, one wound. If he does one wound, they will not be able to to pass round. Yep. Yeah, fours should be doable. Fours and fours, yeah. It's like 50-50, isn't it? Less than that, maybe. <laughs> you, you can tell with fours. All right, coming down to the wire here. Turn six. That's great. It is still not completely decided, I don't think. I think it's in Justin's favor at the moment. Yes. Just because of that unit strength. Just yeah. come at me. I, and, you know. I think it is. Justin, but... Justin has the draw almost guaranteed, unless a Hail Mary stupid thing that is not going to happen, or is very unlikely. And nice position. he can go yeah. for a win. Yeah. That's going to be three hits, or... Oh, no, five. Sorry. Did Mummy sit on threes? No, they haven't fours. I'm not sure if they called it hindered or not. No, they maybe didn't. Unless mummies are pathfinders. No, not pathfinders. No. So just a couple of wounds. On. First two against a one oh, right. Defense three unit. Sure. That's why it did six wounds. Oh, wow. Pulls a waiver. Okay. Okay. That complicates things a bit in the middle. Uh, all right. Only one hit for the Rev King on the Butchers and no wounds. Okay, so one thing went his way, one thing didn't. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And of the, and the, of the two, the I think I'd rather is, have them the other way around. The planner is nimble, so he can still uh, get away. put the planner apparition away and charge with the Butchers to the mummies. Yep. I don't know if he'll play for this mummies, though. Elite rolls, that's going to be what? 15 hits on the mind screech. Oh, yeah. That's gone. And a nine and a ten. Yep, certainly that'll do it. And that gives him the token without moving. Yeah, reform. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> if there's a way you can, then put them both in your front. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, like that. just there. Just, just there. <laughs> Nice. All right. Yeah. Yes, I'm comfortable for now. All right. So that is going to put Justin up at three to one. Going into turn six, the Koke can certainly pick up that one remaining on the right side. Yeah, he's moved the phantoms up. It's just in case. Just. Do you think? He's thinking if I get a turn seven. This I would do this. There's no point of holding the vampire anymore. He's took turn seven. He's not going anywhere, the vampire. And no. why not? It's very unlikely, but maybe you do 12. You do like something crazy, like seven wounds from 12 attacks on fours and fives and do something. But. You, but it's, it's worth a shot. I guess he's positioned it, so if he does take a wound, he may be able to back up. I don't know. I'd be putting them so they'd be hindered. Yeah. So they're pegged to be hindered. I don't know if he will be there. I don't think he will. No region. Just the one. Then charge with the butchers. Still, mummies are very tough. There's slash 18. They're not going to, yeah, they're going to put up a fight. And I think they're probably inspired by the king. Yeah, I think so. Is it the planer that has dread? Yes, planer has yeah, dread. Well. So it's dash 17 at the moment. Still a lot. Still, butchers only hit some four. So uh, he needs. Really good rolls to do that. Yeah. I think even with like 10 wounds, if that was even possible, still an eight twice. It's a lot to get free. All right. 
Mike, can you check to see if the uh, mummies are inspired by the king? Uh, oh, I don't think they Nuts. are. Okay. But it, it was worth a shot that he tried oh, yeah. to, to block the butchers. Yeah, it was a great play. It was just, you just hope for the dice, don't you? Yeah. Let's see, you finally move these phantoms up. Oh, yeah, you missed, you missed it, mate. You waited the whole game. <laughs> <laughs> so do you bother trying to charge the phantoms with the vampire to pick them up one turn or just don't worry about it just, worry just about it. stay where you are let it charge you let the Another vampire have thing. fun yeah because yeah, i mean so long as he does one wound he doesn't have to worry about them getting away and nah uh, I, would, uh, I would definitely not risk it not risk like a stupid but like roll like you get Five ones and two twos, you don't do a single one of the phantoms, then the phantoms fly away and get the token. Oh, he kicked yeah. himself. <laughs> I will really not risk it. <laughs> You've been great staying there, vampire. Just stay a little longer. Right. You just your terrain. Enjoy <laughs> <Yeah>. what you're <laughs> I mean how much how much is a peg? Is it not like over two hundred? Two hundred and twenty-five with the with the mid of madness, I think. Quite an investment, isn't it, for a taking bet? Yeah. If it gets in the game, it's worth it. Yep. So this is going to be doing? the soul reavers, I think. Yeah. Uh, yep. An eight roll on a six. That's a fourteen. Soul reavers are okay. Yeah. Which is, one. Which is, unless somebody's got. No, red planner nearby. is far away. Planner is far no, away. The, only, the only one with red is leaf is the planner. Is that last planner? Okay. Uh, so now on the mummies. 11 hits. Needing threes again, seven. You might get them. So it's a 10. Seven, it it's a 10, one. Oh, no. That's a five, we'll not get it. And that is going to bring us to a turn seven roll. Okay. So now Justin gets the the game. Yep, that's yeah, the game. Justin yep. gets the game. Great game. Yep. I don't know why yeah. he didn't try with the mind screech, wind blast the zombies back, and with the planner operation on the butchers, he had the middle. Yeah, I'm surprised we didn't see any wind blast, to be honest, but. I don't know if he had the double that last screech to get him in the middle. I would have tried with the wind blast. Oh, maybe the planner was not in three inch range. Yeah, that's maybe why. Of the token, you mean? Yeah. Okay. No, yeah, she is. She's or she's barely isn't. I don't know. I don't know. If the planner is in range, I don't know what he did not do that thing with the wind blast and the mind screech. Nice. It's crazy, like, looking at this result now and where we were at turns two and three, we were thinking, you know, how are we going to maneuver out of this for Justin? But yeah, great result. I told at the beginning that if Koke didn't clear the the right flank by turn four, he will have trouble uh, getting the middle. Mm -hmm. At the end, I'll come to that vampire that hold bravely <laughs> that one token. Forget the rest of the units. It's all about those two units. Yeah. And if if Koke had put his other phantom troop all the way over on the other side of the table, those two phantoms could have just rushed the vampire and sniped the token out from under it. I think. Yes. Yeah, that's that's what uh, that's why I like these these uh, troops that are a little bit more expensive but have uh, two unit strength, like maybe a Finn's regiment, because then the vampire cannot hold the uh, the token because he's yeah. one less unit strength. Yep. Right, we're just waiting for the players to finish totaling up their yep. kill points. And then they'll be joining us back here for a quick wrap-up. 
Uh, what questions do we have for them, if anything? I can't remember if anything came up that we weren't sure about. One question that was at the beginning was the line of sight on the uh, butchers from the whites, but right. I guess it's hard to answer that now without having the table, but that was the only one I can remember. I will have why Koke did not try to win blast the zombie regiment with the with the mind switch to get mm -hmm. the middle token. Uh, 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 uh. I was, uh, yeah, because if maybe... he picked up, if he picked up that token on the right with the mind screech last turn instead of doing nothing with them, and then walk them forward this turn, he probably could have wind blasted the zombies with two of them. He can't see the zombies with one of the mind screeches because of the woods. Right. He, could, he if if he had gotten no, the no, token but, last turn, he could have uh, walked in forward into the woods this turn. There oh, was one with the one with the one of the mine streets was on the woods and his wind blast six, so you can get easily three inches back. And that would put him out of range sure. of the token. Sure. Hey. And it's worth a shot. Oh yeah. Wow. Right, welcome welcome back. <laughs> Great game, let's guys. Give, let's give Cook I, I need to lay down. <laughs> 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 that looked tough. Really tough. Oh my word! What is that? Brain. Yeah, brain ache. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was a great game. That was, that was, was good. That was fun to watch. Game. And despite not clear, not, despite not being playing on the cock, was pretty fast. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Not bad. Okay. Few. Uh, is cocaine? Uh, I think he, I guess he's coming. He saw, yeah, he saw my message. So hopefully he'll be back in a minute. Uh, did we have any questions for Justin while we're waiting for Koke? Oh yeah, Koke, sorry, I'm on the other line with Koke now. So Koke, come on, jump on in, mate. Live stream. I had before that, that I had before one question that if you regretted switching the one zombie horde by the Vampire of Pegasus, but now, being that the bumper of Pegasus and the zombie horde are are determining to for winning the scenario, I don't have that question anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, he, he, it's one of those no. things, isn't it? You put you put it out over the, on the left, a really expensive unit holding me up all game. Um, it kind of felt pretty rubbish, but he, he ended up keeping doing this job in the end. So can't really argue. Yes. All right. Thanks for coming back, guys. Uh, thanks for letting us watch your game. We appreciate it. That was that was an outstanding game. It was a lot of fun to watch and well played by both of you. Uh, so thanks for that. Uh, congrats to uh, Justin on the win. Um, uh, sorry, Koke, That was that looked super close from from where we were watching right up to the very end. Um, uh, so what did we have a question for Koke about? Oh, we wanted to ask him about wind blasting uh, the yes. zombies in the last turn. Yeah, yeah. Why I did why I... did you not try? Why did you not try to win blast with one mind screech the zombies? Then you can contest the middle and would be a draw. Yeah, yeah. I think it's uh, so late. <laughs> so late. I, okay. I think <laughs> putting one more unit strength and I played around turn seven, I think. Sure. Yeah, in sure. turn seven. I, I, we have to kill these mummies um, and yeah, more more unit strength at the center. But yeah, yeah. it would be better than one bless. <laughs> I have another so question for, for Justin, I just remembered. Uh, do you regret uh, putting those or river infantry closer than an inch on the zombie trolls? Yes. <laughs> yeah, I didn't see it stupidly. I didn't see the back up and turn. I, you know, I'm doing it for everyone opponents, and I just didn't see it myself. So it's just one of those things, isn't it? Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, I just thought I, I'll put the zombies into it so I could block it. I did not count for the fact that he could back up and turn. But hey, yeah, it worked out. Yeah, no, that was a that was a really well played game for both of you guys. Thanks so much for letting us watch that. Really appreciate it. Uh, very clean, very good tactical. A lot of good positioning stuff going yes. on there. Lots Ex of good moves. Yep. Excellent Justin, examples. To the point where you thought, "Hang on, I'm losing a lot of like decent units here." Like when your soul reavers took a nasty hit, and you're like, "Oh man, that hurt." Was there a problem? 
I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to eke this out. And then suddenly, you know, your unit strength just kind of dominated the middle and things started to go your way. Was there a point where you're thinking, well, actually, this is this is in my reach now? Yeah. So um, there was a point where I failed my surge of my zombie trolls into his mind screech. Um, had I got that, then I would have claimed the token um, regardless. I would have beat him, I think, US5 to US3, um, which would have taken some pressure off. Uh, I think then when I failed that, it was two choices for him. I think he could have charged or or got closer on the overrun with his um, butchers to contest that token that I was going for with my Soul Reavers. Um, but he didn't, so he turned to face the middle, uh, which then his failed uh, route on my Soul Reavers with his... Uh, what are they called? The flying one. Yeah, yeah, tr yeah. That just enabled me to to claim that US. So yeah, I think um, there was a little moment in there. I thought, well, my mummy should hold out, and uh, my my rev king trying to hold up the butchers failed as well. So there's a few things that didn't go my way, but then it, it equaled out in the end because you know he didn't route my soul reavers. So and his shooting wasn't wasn't at the top of his game i was, I was going to say his um his lightning bolt didn't hit as much as i thought it was going to saved me on quite a few times um and yeah i think i got lucky on a few routes especially in my first charge that was a risky my first charge with my rev cav and my uh right whites mm -hmm. i got yeah. uh, that was a risky move uh the <laughs> odds i don't think were in my favor but uh, it was the only way to kind of break something on his line and open a way up, and I had to take it. So um, otherwise, I'd just be shot at all game. <laughs> yeah, no, we were pressured to do something. So yeah, well played. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, and and Koke's positioning in uh, going into turn two there didn't really give you many options for things to charge, like no, no, no yes. good double charge in the middle or anything. It covered everything. Butchers. Yeah. Covered. Yeah, well yeah, very, very this good is use scenario in particular. Field. I think uh, get the first turn is is very important. Mm -hmm. to yeah. to control yes. your objective and and um, uh, zone the the enemy objective too with this uh, chart range 14 with the right he mm -hmm. can charge it really long yeah yep. yeah great game coco really yeah. you know yeah. good game yeah it's a really good game uh any other questions from the commentators or anybody watching on the stream don't think so. All right. Well, thanks again so much, guys, for letting us watch your game. I really appreciate it. Uh, I And uh, congrats to Justin on the win, and good luck to both of you in the last few rounds of the tournament. Uh, maybe we'll see you guys again on the live stream further down the road. Um, so, yeah, I'd like to thank uh, Matt and Luis and Jesse for hanging out with me and talking through your match. Uh, yeah, and I'd exactly. again like to, like to thank uh, Koge and uh, Justin for letting us watch their match. And I'd like to thank everybody at home for watching us uh, while we stream the game. Hopefully you enjoyed it as much as we did. Uh, so until next time, I'm your host, Mike Atkins, saying you stay safe out there. And we will see you next time on Dash 28 Live. Bye, everybody. Thanks, guys. Cheers. Right, thanks. Cheers, guys. Bye -bye. Cheers Mike. Mm -hmm.